って。Peace to the family. Let's get it in. Let's get it in. Let's talk that talk. <clears throat> we was talking real dirty yesterday. And we might have round two today. I'm looking for my brother in New Jersey twerk. <clears throat> Baby, you pour me something to drink? There you go. Look at the guard, he right in there. Peace to the guard. <clears throat> Waiting on my brother. Boss man, boss man. What's up, King? What's going on, man? How you, how you loving? Doing good, my brother, doing real good. No complaints, how you doing? I'm all right, man, I can't complain the same, man. You already know. Um, Man. I, 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 uh, I wanted you to um, have a have a quick little bail, you know, what, 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 one of my cousins, you know, like he, he real deep in, in, in Christianity and, and it, you know, his, his knowledge is far beyond that as well. So I want to, you know what I'm saying? He, he should be alive now. So um, I'm going I'm to um, I'm a, I'm a hop off and I'm going to jump in the comments. And I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna tell you his name and you could just add him on. Okay, I'm gonna look out for it. Right, but if, if worst case scenario, send a text. If I don't see it, just send a call so I can know I must not be seeing it. If he, he, let me see. Let me see. He should be in here like right now. I'm gonna uh, if if I don't, if I don't see him, I'm gonna, I'm gonna send it. I'm gonna see the uh, I'm gonna see the text. What's up to you guys out there? Y'all want to see a nice little debate, a nice bill? <clears throat> that was a good bill we had yesterday, though. Yeah, no, nah, that was that, it was fire. Great, great uh, bill. That shit was he, nice, he, brother. He, he, go right here. he said he requested you. Okay, what's his name? His name, uh, underscore King Keith. King Keith. Oh. King. Keith. Okay, hold on. I'm waiting for the option for a request to pop up. Or you could ju he just commented, you can click on his name and, and, and go from there. <clears throat> okay, I'm looking for the comment. King A A A A, a, a comment again so he can see it so he can see your name. Once I see it, I'm gonna cut you off and put him right on. Uh, that's a wrap. Comment I'm again, Kyle, so you can see so you can see your name. <clears throat> I see Eric Griffin. Let's just say King King Keith. Underscore King. There he say, he say I'm here, bro. He just I see it. Me. I got I you. It. Yeah. <clears throat> Go live with King Keith. Waiting for King Keith right now. <clears throat> Y'all want to see a debate tonight? I don't know who King Keith is, but on the strength of my brother, New Jersey twerk, on the strength of my good brother right there, he says the coronavirus and our people got a high unemployment rate. And where it is on the religious blocks, I'm giving out work. So he could come and join in. <clears throat> we waiting. King Keith, we waiting on you, brother. It says waiting for King Keith on my phone. It says unable. Let me see if I could reach out to him again. <clears throat> says unable to join. What, why is that? That's just weird. King Keith, see if you could send a request to me. Let's see. I 
I see him again. Let me see if it works out this time. <clears throat> there you go. Yo, there we go. See, it's the devil, bro. It's the devil. <laughs> I'm sure it is. Polite, it's the devil hating. <laughs> What's up, brother? <laughs> It's them, it's, them, it's them demons I was talking about. Like, I'm, I'm sure it is in y'all world. I'm sure it is in y'all world. Peace, King. How you feeling, bro? I'm doing good, my brother. How are you? Bro, I'm a huge fan of yours, bro. I support you. I believe in, bro, black power, black pride. You strong, bro. Thank uh, you, I brother. You. Uh, I appreciate you know, that. I, I put you on one of my music videos, too. I got to send you that later. Like, <laughs> I got to look at that. Thanks, yeah. brother. So how you feeling, bro? That's Bill. What's up? I'm I'm doing good. New Jersey Twerk said that your comprehension of Christianity uh, transcends perhaps his and that you have a lot to add to the conversation. Give us a lot of great perspective and an opportunity to, to build and understand. And I'm always open for that because no matter how much people see me as an antagonist, I'm just searching because the only reason I'm asking is because I don't know. You know what I'm saying? So when I ask questions, people, why are you asking so many questions? I just simply don't know. <clears throat> and so I got to go to the people that profess to know or would contend that they know more than me so I can make an evaluation. Maybe one day I submit if I hear the right thing or a couple of the right things. So that's, that's what that is. <clears throat> well, when I, King, I respect that. And I don't, I don't have all the answers, bro. I'm searching myself. I'm a student. I yes, sir. Learn, I learn from everybody, you know. And, that's right. Uh, and I was and I was just chiming in on. Well, I mean, I was late for the conversation last night, but I listen to a lot of your stuff, bro. I watch you go all over the place, you know. And, uh, <laughs> yeah. I do, bro. I really do. You know, I'm like, you know, I gotta, I gotta get out. I'm be so busy, but I'm like, I gotta get out there one day. I'm running to polite one day, bro. So, so yeah. But but as far as Christianity, bro, I, I'm a little different. I agree with a lot of the flaws uh, that uh, I just I just agree with a lot of the just the contradictions and the hypocrisies in Christianity. And sometimes, and I'll admit, you know, uh, even confessing Christianity, it, I, you have to all, also at the same time assume a lot of the guilt or a lot of the actions. You can't escape it. You know what I'm saying? Just like white people, bro. If, you know, a, a lot of white people did stuff in the name of their complexion and white supremacy. It was also <laughs> some, a lot of white people who helped Martin Luther King with the civil yeah. rights movement. So, That's true. So, so, so they did so. You know, they, they did so, you know, ha at the same time, having to bear the guilt of their complexion because we call them devils, bro. And so, 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 I'm, so it's Christianity is the same thing. Uh, and I have a different, you know, the, the Christian community, they, they say I'm not a Christian because I don't, I don't believe the same things. I believe the same word, but it, to me, it's just different interpretations. So um, I don't want to spill on you or throw it. I just want, I kind of want to address what you feel like is uh, the problem with Christianity or our doctrine, and I kind of just meet you where you at, bro. I don't mind. This is good. This is good for growth. You guys, make sure you have your questions ready, because after we, we get this building on, we can just sit here and, and connect with the people so we can engage our audience, if you don't mind, my brother. Absolutely. So, let's do it like this. Where do I start? Let's start from the, <laughs> let's start from the very first I love you, my brother. I love you, bro. Let's go, though. What's up? Hey, I love that. So let's start from the very first word, first chapter of the Bible, right? In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth, and the earth was all form and void, and darkness upon the face of the deep, and spirit of God moved across the water. Hold on. So since we're talking about God, who is the narrator? Who's the one that's talking about God, unless God wrote on his own behalf and talked about what he was doing? Who's the one talking? At the very beginning of the Bible, the first thing that my mind does is go, hold on. Who is that talking? <clears throat> so the way, bro, God, God is spirit. And the way that he translates himself to man uh, is in our mind, in our subconscious. But when you talk about in the beginning, you know, and, and, and that he created the, the heavens and the earth, bro, we know that, that, is, that our universe consists of time, space, and matter. So when, when Scripture says in the beginning, he created the heavens. Well, in the beginning, that's time. The heavens, that's space or matter. And the earth, you, so, 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 so that's, the, that's the actual science of creation, bro, is time, space, and matter. So the, the Bible is scientific. The entire Bible is scientific. And it's universal law and universal principle. So I'm one of those Christians. I believe I rely on science and principle and truth to affirm the word. 
I'm not one of those Christians who believe in, you know, just theory. I believe that the Bible has to be proven. But to answer your question specifically, God speaks to us through us. You know, he don't just speak to us for us as individuals. He speaks to us through our intellect and through our subconscious uh, so that we can communicate to each other and deal with each other for, 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 for edification to prove that he is real and amongst us. Okay, so here's the thing, right? And this is what happens with me when I speak with my good brothers and sisters that make subscriptions to religion. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I, I get a book, one of those sex novels, right? Uh, and and they, they got to make the movie to the book. Right. And so when the movie starts, you hear someone speaking. And when you look at the characters, you tend to ask, okay, who's the one doing the narration? Mm -hmm. So I'm going to ask the question again. When the Bible starts off in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth, and the earth is our form of void, and the dogs on the face of the Oh, Or even in Hebrew. Yo, how do we want to do it? Who's that talking in the beginning of the book? Who's talking about God? And then later on, in Genesis chapter 3, verse 14, it says the devil is the most subtle beast of the field that the Lord God has created or made. So first we have Who's talking about God and who's talking about the devil? Because obviously it's not the one of the two. Because they're being talked about who is the narrator of the book of Genesis? <clears throat> Mo Mo Moses is the narrator receiving uh, the process of creation from the beginning, from the Holy Spirit of God. Oh, so Moses, like Prophet Muhammad, he, well, Prophet Muhammad is supposed to be taking a recitation because he's supposed to be illiterate and receiving a book. And in this instance, Moses was taking out dictation. That's what you're saying? Moses was talking to God, and God was like, yo, um, take note of everything I'm saying before you go down there and, and give them all these stone tablets. Well, the stone tablets was later, but that's how God communicates. Moses was one of the, the authors of the Old Testament, but God, from the beginning, he still communicates through us today. You see, and so, so that has not changed. I'm talking to you now. You're talking to me from things that you've read from other people and process and communicate. So whatever spirit they wrote it in, whatever information you researched in Google or you country you visited or place you've been to, you <clears> took <throat> information that was created. Because it ain't facts. You can, you can even look at a physical artifact, but it was man-made. So even a fact is not a fact if it was created by someone else. You see, so, so the thing is, is that, is that the same way you communicate now, it, 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 you're communicating and processing information of people that came before you and they don't have to be here physically with you to articulate it to me right now. As long as you understand it and process it and, art and, art and can articulate it in a way that makes sense. Bro, anything you tell me about history was written by people that's dead. So, so, so based on that logic that I think I'm hearing, you should not be able to articulate anything that was written in the past from a man or a woman, regardless if their spirit has been in here or not, if they're, if they're not here with you physically. So, so I, I don't, I, I mean, I, I hear what you're saying, but it's, to me, it's common sense. You know, God is spirit, so he speaks to us in our subconscious and our conscious mind, and we articulate and we communicate. Then the things that we hold true as faith, we, we tend to find facts or things that we believe are facts, and we uh, substantiate. That's where conviction comes from. And then we express it. So that's what I'm doing now. And that's, that's, that's the same thing you're doing. And so I would ask the same question. You know, your line of questioning and your, and your, and your stance and your view, where that came from? You ain't created, so... Who's, who's, whose questions are you asking me and who originated that train of thought that makes you believe in what your, that your, that your oppositional perspective is definite? Where, where does that come from? Where does your doubt come from? Uh, well, I'll tell you this. <clears throat> my doubt comes from the people who present God to me. That's where my doubt comes from. Right. right? And so the only way I'm able to know about God is through people teaching God about me or teaching me about God, pardon me. And so the second that the people give me doubt, then I have to doubt the God that they present to me. So I've been, in doubt about, I've been in doubt about God since the beginning of time, my time, because I've never heard anything that made sense. So right now, we have to conclude, <clears throat> I, still need, I still need clarity. 
Moses. He was one of the authors who wrote the Old Testament. Moses. He's one of the authors. So that's correct. Where does it say that in the Bible? Um, here's the thing. It's not because. Well, let me ask you this first. Where did the Bible originate? I have no idea where this white man concocted that Bible. So you don't know where the Bible came from, but you're saying that the white man concocted it. <clears throat> yeah, he definitely concocted it. That's the last but, place. But where did, that's but the last, but, that's the but last where point did, of reference we have for a Bible. It's from the European and our enslavement. But where did the Bible originate based off your research since you've done so much? Where did, where did the I, I, don't, I don't see it in no African culture, so I don't know. Where, you can enlighten me. Where, where was the first Bible discovered? Based on research. I don't have no idea. You tell me. In Egypt. It was discovered in Egypt. And there was a Bible discovered in Egypt? Absolutely. You got to research. But here, wait, here's the thing. Hey, hold on, hold on. Stop. 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 For you to put so much of a strong emphasis on the on, on, on the claiming or substantiating that the white man concocted the Bible, where in, where on, in your research does it say that the white man concocted the Bible? Where is that at? Oh, that's, that's that's that comes from slavery. That's how we know. We got an actual point of reference. No, no. Hold on, brother. Hold on, okay, hold on. Okay. Hold on. This is what we're going to do. And you, you you must know I'm being facetious. But mm -hmm. I'm going to tell you this. Because if we really want to go there, then we got to go to 1624. Mm -hmm. What we're we looking at when they introduced the letter J into the language, which means nobody was calling on Jesus prior. They was. That's what I do. So you may not realize I was being facetious. But they was, you, bro. Who thought you smelled blood? Let's, no, they was. Pull out the knife. Let's pull out the knife. I'm listening. I'm let's listening pull out the knife. I need that energy. Let's go. Let's go. Hold on. Let's go back to Egypt, what you said. I'm glad I got your ass. I got you. I'm glad. Don't let me start smelling blood, goddammit. It's going to be crazy. So now you're not going to answer the question where the Bible originated from? You're not going to answer it. Hold, hold on. Yeah, I got you. Let's go. Hold on. Did the Egyptians ever read from the Bible? No, no. Let's say that again, bro. Did the Egyptians, you heard me, did the Egyptians ever read from the Bible? Where's it the wasn't called the Bible. Here's the thing. The Bible it wasn't is, called the Bible. Oh. No, it was not called. It's still not called the Bible in other countries. The Bible is an is a English interpretation. So when you say the Bible. So what was the Bible bro, called in Egypt? And bro, did bro, the Egypt? Hold on, wait, 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 wait. Read wait, wait. from the Bible. That's a goddamn lie. There's no bro, Bible. The Bible is in a, but the Bible is a collection of books over thousands of years. So when you say the Bible, who told Bible you that? Find, the white bro. man told you that. The white man Listen, told you the Bible is a no, collection no, no. of books. Let's not blame the white man. Let's articulate. Let's let's take responsibility for what we say. Don't blame I ain't got to take no responsibility yet. for no I damn Bible that this cracker gave us. Say it again, bro. I ain't got to take no responsibility for the Bible that this cracker gave us. If no. you say. If you hold on, so you if you don't say, know. you don't know where the Bible you, came from, just say it. Just say you don't know. Hold on. No, I say it. admit it. I said I was being facetious. You can okay. clearly be saying that the Bible came from the white man. That's what you heard me say. It came from the slave master. That's what you heard me say. And guess what? I wanted to see if I could get you to feel froggy, and you finally jumped. So okay, now I'm listening. Hold on, hold on. I'm explaining to you. When I asked you who's the narrator of the book of Genesis, you know what you did? You started telling me about metaphysics and space and the Bible is a scientific book. Hold on, my brother. You told me that's a scientific I'm book. I'm listening. You never told me who's the narrator. So I, after I listened to everything patiently, I then came back again and said, I hear everything you're saying, my good brother. Now, you know, because I see you was exercising extreme caution, rightfully so. So then I ask you again, well, who's the narrator? And then I say in Hebrew and I say it in English and I even take the Genesis 3.14 and I bring it right back. And so... We finally get Moses. And I can see you looking in the upper left-hand corner of your eyes, which is the image reconstruction area, which means you're either going to be creative or you're about to make up a lie. So I watch you. And you no, somebody was talking to me, but that's not true. I like okay. the observation, but somebody's speaking. Let's not over-talk each other. I'm going to be quiet when you do your thing. So that okay. way we be good, because we don't got a moderator. So, so, now, so now I say, okay, hold on. Who's the narrator again? You pause, you're reluctant to do it, because obviously you didn't answer the first time. The first time, you didn't say Moses was the author. So when you say the first time around, the second time around, you say, okay, uh, Moses. So I said, hold on. Moses went up there and took dictation on stone? 
You said that's before the stones. That wasn't when the stones came out, which I'm thinking they wrote them happiness. Like, what are we talking about? So I listen to what you're saying, right? And somehow you you, you slick out of there. I'm still there, but now we're in Egypt. I don't mind. Now I got you to be froggy and actually say something that's concrete. So now, since ancient Egyptians had a Bible, since they found the Bible in Egypt, I say now a logical question. Since they found the Bible in Egypt, naturally the Egyptians should have been reading from it. So I ask you. They I were. Say, they I'm were. coming to you. Done. I ask you a simple question. Mm -hmm. The answer, everyone knows what the answer should be. Since you found a Bible in Egypt, when I asked you, did the Egyptians read from the Bible, you should say yes, ASAP. But you know what you said? No, because that's a trick question. Because the Bible is an assortment of multiple books, bro. I, 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 want you to talk. I don't want you to murder the movement. You know, when murder movement battle, he'll rap for 20 minutes <laughs> and let the opponent rap for five minutes and give the perception that he, he win it. And so I don't want you, don't murder the me, bro. I'm going I'm to I'm let you know, just don't murder the me. I got you, brother. I got you. So, so I'm just building the case because now, since you profess that the Bible comes out of Egypt, I ask, oh, the Bible come out of Egypt? Here we go. Watch this. So, the Egyptians is reading from the Bible? The answer should be, yes, ASAP. But you know what you do? You start punk faking. You start twinkle throwing through the tulips. And you start, I'm articulating. Hold on, that's, hold on. You start, well, you know what? Even though they found the Bible in Egypt, they you're reluctant to say that the Egyptians read from the Bible. You know why? Because I'm not the Bible in Egypt. You made this shit up. I'm, I didn't. Hold on. Okay. Now let me ask you. See, it wasn't wasn't the oh, so, so polite, 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 polite. Where did the Bible originate? With the white man. No. Where, where, the prove it. Prove, prove it. it. Where, where the Bible? Where did? Where was the Bible originated? Where did? Where, 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 when was? What year was the Bible created, and in what continent? Where did it originate? In Europe? Is that your claim? The Bible originated yes. with the Europeans mm -hmm. per 1524 is the birth of your Jesus. Bro, that's not... Come on, but like, just everybody can see you don't know. That's first and foremost. You okay, don't let me know ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. You don't let know me ask where it originated, and let you're me making it up. Talk let about your you eye movement. You thinking as I'm talking to you, because you... You, you, okay, okay, so okay. We're gonna let okay. you, so, you live on, on that one. That's one. Let's, that's one. Let's, let's, I got let's, let's one. your question. You answer mine okay. because I see, I see you came up out of Egypt real fast. Let me no, ask you. I'm gonna go back to Egypt now. Watch this. Now, no, but now, now, no, we're, gonna, we're gonna stay in Egypt. So, watch this. So, so you talk. So, watch this. Now, if the now we we do understand that that the white man had the Bible via slavery, right? And you saying they concocted it. Why ain't no white face in the Bible? Why G why the Bible say Jesus is no white black face, face in the Bible? Why, 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 why does the Bible say that Jesus was born? Well, why are there no Caucasians or Europeans in the Bible? Why is there's no Caucasians or Europeans in the Bible? Why, why are the, why is everybody in the, in the Bible black or Hispanic? What the hell are you talking about? I don't what, know. Okay, what, 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 I, 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 what was the complexion of the Jesus? Bible I'll, I'll be more literal. No, I'll be more literal. What was the complexion of Jesus? Hold on. The no, Bible. no, oh, you want to be literal and you want to try to exploit a point. What was the first of skin all, complexion? First if, of I, all, if I wrote the Bible, I'm gonna make I'm gonna make Jesus the deity my complexion, right? So if Carl Cases wrote the Bible, first of all, you trying to tell me we was getting killed for reading, but they enslaved me with a book that I couldn't interpret. You don't make no sense, bro. That's first of all. Second of all, what complexion was Jesus or Moses or Abraham? The niggas didn't exist. I don't believe that shit. So why you okay, asking? So, well, wait, wait, wait. Okay. Okay. So according <laughs> to the Bible, though, wait, I guess you don't believe it, bro. You just told me Hispanics in the Bible. Bro, I understand you don't believe it, but now I want you to discredit my conviction. Tell me, based off my conviction and my belief, what were the skin complexion of everybody, the main character, characters in the Bible? Before we do this, we'll keep note. Please, let's go back to Egypt where you said we found the Bible. You know why? Hold on. I'm explaining it to you why. It's you can't question. do that. I'm brother, brother, brother. Brother. All we got to do is this. All we got to do is this. What came first in our conversation amongst the Spaniard, the Spanish, Hispanic people in the Bible before we had a question about where did the Bible begin? We were in Egypt and you took tail and got the fuck out of there. Now, the reason I, why I'm we're trying to stay here. Brother, stop, please. You're, asking, you're telling me Spanish people is in there. Listen, the reason why. 
the reason why we have to have that conversation is so you can understand why I'm telling you in 1524 is when you got to look at the Bible as it relates to black people. When, when did the Bible evolve? When did it become, when did it come about? We got to get back where you said the Bible's in Egypt. So why, okay. why should we leave that conversation? Because I can clearly see we can't look at it in retrospect because we didn't even investigate. You just want to say wild things and then go somewhere else. You just don't know. You can't answer it. You're making up, you're making up stuff as you go. And it's obvious, okay, so you, you don't know where the Bible originated. Actually, you, you so smart. You so you smart. Bible, you do know where it originated. You don't want to say it. You're right. You said the Bible comes from Egypt. You said when it, that should be your playground since it's true. Okay, watch this. You gonna prove me wrong. No, no, no. You, you can't dictate what my playground is. I'm going to tell you what my playground is. You can't confine me to. I don't, 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 don't care about that argument. Let's go back to Egypt where you said okay, the Bible. Okay, so in Egypt, right? So, so, so via my Bible that you don't believe in, what was Jesus' skin complexion? Jesus don't fucking exist. I don't got time for I this. I know, but answer the question, though. See, answer the question, though. Let's go. You don't want to answer. You know why? Because the because here's what, if white people could copy the Bible, they would have made the, the text in the, in the in the actual context. His skin complexion would have been white, just like the pictures of white read, people. Read. Go he ahead. He black. Can He's you read? Black. Me? Jesus, read it for why me. wouldn't white crackers who enslaved us? Can you read book, Jesus' description for me? Polite. Get his thing. We was Do enslaved for four hundred years. For you? We, watch this. We was enslaved for four hundred years, bro. I'm I'm black power. I'm pro black. But how was we enslaved with a book doing, that we couldn't read? How? Explain that. Yo, none of that is scholarship, bro. Let's go back what to Egypt. What was the first book that slaves read? The first book that slaves read and got killed for reading was what? What? The they started reading, right? So what was the first book that slaves read and okay, got well, killed well, for well, reading? Well, slow down. Are we going to have a shouting match? You asked me like 20 questions. You not you don't want to answer them, bro. You're not letting me I'm ask sorry, nothing. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Go ahead. You got it. You got it. Yo, yo. I respect I'm, you. I'm, 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 I'm just, I just get excited like you, but I respect you, bro. I ain't tripping. I ain't tripping. Okay, but what okay. I'm saying is, if you watch, I only got one thing about Egypt going on, and you keep coming out with another question, another question, another, and that's confusion. What we should do is pace ourselves and answer one question at a time and allow each other to build. I don't mind. I don't mind building. But all I'm saying is, my brother... Unless you want to retract your statement, let's clean up the book being in Egypt and work our way into all the many questions that you had. Because it started out with you saying you wanted me to ask you questions. And now you're asking me like 15, 20 questions. I don't mind. I got something for each and every one of them. Okay. But I would like to be in order. I don't want to, every time we get one, one conversation started, we jump somewhere else before we get the truth. <laughs> Because then no one can gain from it because that was going to become a shouting match. So let's okay. just start from the beginning and we work our way till we get to here. Because I hear what you're saying. It's speculations. Why would they do this if that? Why would you do this if that? I'm not interested in speculation. What color was Jesus? I already said I don't believe in none of that. So not all of that shit is trash. The only thing you can do is not trash. It's trash. I'm explaining why it's trash. I'm explaining why it's trash. If someone tell you they don't believe in something, you don't ask them what complexion is the person they don't believe in. What you oh. do? Hold on, brother. So why would you? Why would you be asking me if you don't believe in my book? Why are you quoting scriptures, asking me to verify or validate? That, okay, by no, your logic, you shouldn't I'll be asking no those scriptures. Now, let by me your logic, me. that's confusing. That's let a me contradiction, bro. It's you know, a, it's you're a, a human question. being, and human beings is full of confusion, bro. That's what is this saying. a rhetorical question, or can I answer that? Why would I ask you this? This is what you said, right? Is it a I'm saying based on, no, no, based on your logic, if you can't act, if you say you can't answer my question about what Jesus' complexion is because you don't believe none of it, you shouldn't ask me not one question about scripture at all because you don't believe it anyway. So you can't pick and choose when you want to interrogate a question about yes, philosophy. Uh, or now, my now, now what I want to know, what I want to know is, can you make it clear if you're asking me questions you don't want me to answer? And you just want to read, or do, can I answer the question? You ask, you ask me whatever you want, bro, and, and, and vice versa. No, I, okay, so I, I would like to answer questions as you ask them accordingly. What I will do, because we ain't back in Egypt yet, what I would like to do is answer this question you just asked me. Why would I ask you this question? I'm going to give you the answer. Why would I ask you any questions? I'm going to give you the answer. I don't know you from square one. This is not to be a nigga. I want you to hear me in full context. I got you. I got you. Now you good, bro. I don't know you from square one. I had a conversation 
with our good brother New Jersey twerk. He conceded to the fact that he felt that you were more proficient at Christianity than I, and that you would like to have a bill about Christianity. So that's how we arrived here, because now you probe my mind to want to know what is it that I have a question about Christianity. But what we what we see is you didn't really want to ask me questions under certain pretense. What we want to do is filibuster, and every time I get ready to answer one question, you ask me another question. I apologize, bro. My bad. I apologize. Another question. Listen to you. I apologize. So, so, so I want to make it clear that answer to your question is the reason why I'm asking you questions is because someone felt that you were made suitable proficiency in the preceding degrees. So that's why Absolutely. I'm asking you questions because we're here, and I thought that was the build that I would ask you stuff, ask you stuff, and we build. Now, I would just simply like the following to take place at some point or the other. I would like you to read whatever description you have of Jesus in your Bible because there's a point of reference. Even though I don't believe in it, I'm going to show you how we do this. We first can go to a point of reference in your Bible and we can, we can, we can analyze it and then we can see if we can find any proof that exists outside of the book because anyone can write a book and people can just believe what's in the book. But if we can find someone or something to corroborate the testimonies, something else to confirm what's inside of the book, then that would be all right. But if we can't, then we're doing what's called pyramiding inferences. We're just using random speculations. Like, okay, don't murder move me, bro. Don't murder move me. Don't murder move me. And I'll be quiet when you talk. Okay. Otherwise, we're doing pyramiding, we're pyramiding inferences. And what we're doing is saying, I'm going to ask a whole bunch of questions that sound logical. And that is the, that's called the law of implication, but it's not the law of double implication reversal, which is a truth table. It's the mathematics of logic. So we're not using the mathematics of logic by just asking random questions. These questions should be the motivation for us to get answers, not the motivation to ask more questions. So when I'm debating somebody, such as you, a religious person, you have a tendency to answer your questions by asking more questions, and we will not accomplish nothing. So I'm going to ask you, can we go back to Egypt when you made the exclamation that the Bible, and I know, I know the traditional answer would be 325 AD. I don't take on that, that, that stance. I don't want to go back into Egypt because you was feeling froggy and I got you to jump. Now that you say the Bible come out of Egypt, and I say since the Bible come out of Egypt, <laughs> reading the Bible, right? You had no answer. And you said, well, they didn't call it the Bible. I don't know what kind of crazy answer it is. If it was the Bible when they found it, how come it's not the Bible when they read it? I because don't... our language is English, polite. You said letter J. I didn't miss the question. I'm going to go. I'm let you go. Okay. Do you miss the question? If it is the Bible when they find it in Egypt, how come it's not the Bible when they're reading it in Egypt? Is Jesus' name Jesus in, 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 in another country? Is it the same translation? No. Okay, that, that's the answer to your question. So that, now next, now so next. Same person. That, that's simple, that's basic, bro. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to build with you with real substance, though, and I respect what you're saying. I'm trying now, to figure this out. Hold on, how the hell is this the answer to the question? If they found the Bible in Egypt, did the Egyptians read from the Bible? That's the question. Bro, yes, the Egyptians read from the Bible. Thank black you. People, oh, hold black on. people read. Oh, 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 I'm going to I'm going to be specific. Okay, go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. So, go so, you feel so, again. The, so, so the Bible, right, is an English translation. We call it the Bible. It's not, it's not called the Bible in other countries. But now, so, so that's my answer to your question. But here's the thing. You never answered not one of my questions yet. When I ask you a question, We're you, not said, done with you, Egypt, you bro. said it don't matter. You discounted my question and said the answer don't matter. Why would I answer if I don't believe in it? I don't so know what you're talking answer, about. So, okay, so, so listen. We're, I'm, 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 I'm building off of the thought that you don't know where their Bible originated from. That's the first thought that we established. That's a fact. You don't know. The second thing, I'm asking you, because I'm, I'm combating your statement that the Bible is a white man's concoction, right? That means they manipulated the contents, the content in context within the book to oppress minorities. So my second point, we couldn't read, bro. So you can't oppress me with, with information I can't process. So that's, that's, a, that's a misstatement. No, that's false. But that's the narrative that the crowd run with. The third point, no, I said, if the Bible was a white man's concoction, why wouldn't they alter the content within to, to create white faces? Why would they tell us Jesus was hot in Africa or he was born poor? 
Why would, why, why would they describe his features and his skin complexion as a minority? Wait, 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 as a minority. Wait, wait, wait. You said you were going to let me talk. Oh, why would the Bible describe his skin Can you get a reference? I'll no, pull up the reference why, if you don't why, want to pull up the reference. I'll pull up the reference. No. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, brother. I don't want to just be talking. I want to give people dates, times, years, manuscripts. That's all we're going to have. Okay, so, wait, so I got a question. I got a question. I got a question. I want to so know who the Bible, the what was Jesus's, what was his complexion based on the Bible? He never existed. Okay, I I hear what you're saying, but based off the text that does exist, what does the text say his 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 his, his color was? Wait, bro, you gonna lie on live like that? So <laughs> why you gonna read it? Then? Read it. Why are you afraid to read it? So so it's so, so because it. bro because because I'm you don't need, you I, I don't think you know because you. How can you display the stuff you're not reading, bro? You got scriptures on your computer behind your phone, but you can't give me basic Why information. wouldn't you read it, though? If I'm this wrong, why wouldn't you read it? Bro, because this... Okay, so listen, listen. So now, moving forward... Do you even know the verse? No, no, no. Here's the thing. How, no, 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 no. So I'm going to ask you another question. So I'm going to ask you another question. Let me talk. <laughs> so, so polite. So how was the... Well, how did the white men use the Bible? Because we couldn't read for almost 400 years. We didn't start reading until like 350 some odd years later. And what you will learn is that the first book that black people started getting killed for reading is the Bible. And then we got, and we ultimately freed ourselves not shortly after we started reading the Bible. So my question to you, no, wait, before I answer that question, not just that, you, you know, when you say the, the Bible is a white man's con concoction, help me understand why Martin Luther King, who was a bishop and his, his, a pastor, his dad was a pastor, and while Malcolm X, who was a devoted Muslim, why is these, why is these Bible believing and, and, and Quran believing <laughs> Bible talking leaders, why are they the faces of black freedom and black liberation? Where was the atheists at and the free thinkers during our period of getting free? Why was it led by God? Martin Luther King said, God told me, Martin Luther King said, Jesus told me to do this. So he lied. Malcolm X said, I lied, told me to free my people. That, where was the free thinkers at? Where was the command brothers? Where was the what was the okay. Okay. Can I answer your question? Yes. Okay, so since we want to play the game that Malcolm X and all these other guys were religious and they believed in God and that was their motivation for doing what they was doing, what about the crackers that burned the churches that did it in the name of God? I've been to Ghana and I went to Cape Coast and where the male slave dungeon is, just above the male slave dungeon, there's a church that's above the place where they castrated the black man. So they too said they was motivated by God. Does that mean that God existed? Because they were successful in castrating us. Now, hold on. Let me answer another thing that you asked me. And we still should go back to Egypt because we wasn't finished. Because we got to prove that that shit you saying is cat. It's all cat. <laughs> all cat. No more case. Okay, now watch this. Since my brother did not want to go to the book of Revelations, chapter 1, because he says that Jesus is a black man, right? And I say this is the white man's Bible, right? I want everybody to understand this. This is the this is what he's referencing, but he was afraid to go to it. Because Jesus is a black man. He said Jesus is a black man. And this is the King James Version of the Bible. Is that okay with you, or do I need a different version? No, you can use that. Thank you. So everybody, I want y'all to read this carefully. I'm going to show you how... This is what you do when you enslave niggas that can't fucking read, and then you teach them how to read, and you give them an interpretation. Niggas until 2020 still fucking can't read. Religious niggas. Now watch this. This is what they're talking about. This is Jesus' description. Revelation chapter 1, verse 15. Read this, people. Read. This read it. Read it. His head and his hairs were white like wool. You know what the Negro say? The Negro say, you see wool? You know how wool looks? Wool is like our nappy hair. But what is the white wool like? Oh, no, that's like you got gray hair. Let's go back. His head and his hairs were white like wool. Now, I want to ask you a question. If his head... Stay focused on his head. Pause. His head and his hairs. What did they say? His head and his hair. So when they say his hair, his hair is different from his head, right? I just want to ask people out there, 
Just let me build, my brother. I want to ask people out there. Is his head different from his hair? Or is his hair and his head the same? His head and his ears were white. Like wool. Keep reading, bro. Hold on, hold on, hold on people. Stop. Keep reading. How you telling me keep reading? This is, I asked you to pull it up, and you didn't want to pull it up. Now you can't tell me what to do when I'm doing this. Slow down, brother. I'm because, looking. Just read brother, it. you telling me to keep reading, but that's not the point. The point you want. Take it forever, but I, I'm trying to build with you. My brother, stop with this foolishness. I asked you to read this several times. You refused to. I don't even think you know what a damn verse is that you're living by. <laughs> now, now I'm talking. How the hell are you going to tell me when to keep reading when it's my point that I'm making, not your point? You got, okay, you got it, bro. You just, just let, well, this one I talk. Let me talk. Don't cut me off. I got you, but it's getting hot in that motherfucker. So watch this. His head and his hairs were white like wool. Now, you know what these people do? They tell you, oh, you see, wool, you know, still wool, when you're washing your pants and pants, that's like nigga hair. But they didn't say his hair was wool. They said it was white like wool. They didn't say his hair was wool. They said his hair was white like wool. Not that his hair was wool. But what, look what he says. Go back one more time. I got to get this. The nigga's been telling this stupid shit for years. His head and his hairs were white. I'll say it again. His head and his hairs was white. I'll say it one more time. His head and his hairs were white like wool. As white as snow. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. So this is what I want to tell you guys, first and foremost. Why would they describe his head and his hair were white, just like wool? They never said his hair was wool. So this is what I'm telling y'all. This is what I'm telling y'all. Niggas, rather than tra trace back what they were doing before they got introduced to this Bible, when they got enslaved, you want to go. So how was we able to understand? First of all, fam, we was getting our tongue cut out if we were still speaking our own language. They didn't even want us to speak our own language amongst each other, unless you think English is our damn language. So first of all, they took, they stripped us of our language, and then they taught us how to read in their language and limited what we would read in their language, and it still shows on to this day that the most illiterate motherfuckers on planet Earth are religious people, because no matter how much I read that shit over and over, you suffer from cognitive dissonance. Okay, now let me say one thing. Let me say one thing. Now let me say one thing. One, one, one thing. On this point. One thing. I'm going to close out on this point. Okay. You're suffering from cognitive dissonance because it literally tells you his head and his hairs were white, like wool, as white as snow. So, are you making his head and his hair something other than it says in the damn verse that y'all are always reading? No, no, no. I'm a, I agree 100% with what you said, and I'm going to say 100% of what you did not say. I asked you what color was his skin. What? what did you say? I said the answer. The, it says brass, it. though. The, the scripture that you read says brass, though. It's, it talks about oh, his gray hairs. The, the Bible body. also says that gray hairs are, are, is, a, is a manifestation of wisdom. Gray hairs is representative of wisdom. But what, is, what, what, what color we is brass, though? Wisdom, no, right? what, what color is brass, though? What color is his head? What, what color is burned brass, bro? What brother, color? Brother, what does burned brass look like? This is what they do all the time. I'm not doing what it. Does burn, no, what, wait, 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 wait. You talk like 20 minutes, bro. Don't burn the movie, bro. What color is his skin? You gonna you gonna you gonna you zoom in on you fucking that's why that's why I told you to keep reading because you always manipulate context. See, I told you to keep reading on purpose. What color was his skin? Burnt I'm, breast. Bro. That's that's you bro. look you look burnt, bro. You look like burnt breast. Guess bro. what? I look like burnt breast too. We burnt, nigga. <laughs> So, so don't sit here and try to gas the crowd about about gray hair, bro. About gray, a gray beard, bro. Talk about his eyes and his voice, the power in his Talk voice, the color of his skin. Stop so playing. Let me so let me you, 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 but I just wait. His skin. You the scripture me? tells you right Are here. You his me? skin was burnt brass, bro. And you know that. But you said you won't let me talk. Now you're gonna lower your eyes because you want to act and communicate. You disinterested or points ain't hitting. But bro, they hitting, bro. 
Stop, bro. His skin Yo, was black, funny. my nigga. He it's was funny. black. I don't mind. Hold on, wait, wait, wait. Hold on. I don't, let, 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 next, I don't mind going to the next sentence, but here's the ignorant shit you're doing again. Let's cover the first sentence we read before we go to the second sentence. That's how you read. You don't pick what you want. Well, you still talking. Wait, it's my turn, polite. You just talked for 20 minutes and you said, bro, let's take turns. Going back and forth, it causes confusion. Yeah, I'm not, I don't take turns. Yeah, that, I don't and I stayed quiet turns. the whole time. And you said, I don't want to take turns doing some fuck shit. When we read, we read the first <laughs> sentence and we evaluate the first sentence. Then so, bro, to... so now, so how, how, how did the, because you're not going to answer the question. What, I'm going to ask you one more time. So well, according to the scripture that took this name, what color was his skin complexion? White. I keep answering the question. Bro, hey, it says his hair was white. It says his hair was wool. Bad. But what about his skin, bro? Stop lying. Hey, okay, I'm going to read Everybody out there, read Rebel. Bro, pull that scripture up again. Pull it up to the screen again. I dare you. Pull, pull, pull the script up to the screen like you just did. What I dare you to do is answer the it's first bright, question. It's my nigga. So, so, so that, what, is my parents going to never be established? Wait, 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 wait. It's my turn. Now that we established his Yo, skin Yo, color was black, why would white people who concocted the Bible create a, create a book that says he was he was It says place? he's white, bro. This is ignorant as shit. It don't it's, say he white. You, you been manipulated, bro. Man. You too smart for that. Polite. I love what you. Bro, you very smart. Stop manipulating, bro. It's, 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 we can read it. We see it. Brass. Burnt. It don't even say brass. The Bible what? made sure we couldn't get brass confused, so he added burnt to it. What, what color is his hair? Bro, I got a granddad with all gray hair and a gray beard who eyes fire, look like fire because he anointed and he powerful. He got like... that same look in my eyes. That he got the same look that I got because I'm Does... powerful, bro. You yeah, powerful, you know... too. But don't, but don't tell me because a man got gray hair. It, it says I didn't see that. Actually, what color is his you head? Violent. Oh wait, wait, wait. Okay, so what's it? So what? So 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 now here's the thing. We back. How did the white man use the Bible as a to to enslave <laughs> us when we couldn't read for four hundred years? But they had the book. Where did they get the book? Where, where did they get the Bible from? I actually what they I made that bullshit up. I said it they already. Made, so they, they, they made it up. Why do? Why, why, they made it up, bro. You know Jews and Catholics. You know Jews and Catholics, right? Bro, all right, so next. Look, look. You, you, no, you no, next. No, next. We stay where I started. Stop running all over the place. Stop running because you're not answering my questions. This is fun, bro, because you, I asked you like 20 I questions. You didn't answer none. This is fun. This but is fun. I'm you know. Okay, it's fun. So I'm not having fun. You know why? Because you're grown running away from a fucking sentence. Bro, I'm answering every question you got. Oh, what color was his right, head? Let's, let's slow it down. Let's slow it what down. What color was his head? Let's say it again. His hair? What color was his head? His hair? His head. His hair? His head. What color was his head? Do y'all all see this? His head ignorance? and hairs. See, his thing. Do, Do y'all all see this? No, bro, his hair. No, 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 watch this. I'm going to show you how you've been manipulated. <laughs> why? Me, tell me one person where they beard is the same color as their skin. No, you've been manipulated. If it said his hair and his hairs is white, then what does that mean? And what me his color head. is his head? Tell me one person you see where there's where there's facial expression, face. So watch this. So he so he had a white face and black feet. That's what you're telling me, bro. Stop being manipulative, bro. Bro, he's talking about his. It says it in the context. His head and his hairs was as white as wool. And so why would it say wool? It was talking about texture, not. It's not talking about texture. Bro. You it can't was, I, me. Bro, you don't know God. I know God, so you can't speak for me. I, I'm gonna tell you what I'm gonna tell you what God meant. Cause you, you don't know him. You don't even believe in him. My interpretation is superior to yours. You don't even believe in him, bro. Listen, that's not, that's it's not even an interpretation. Wait, 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 wait. You can study a woman for two years in a row. What she like, what she don't like. This is some ignorant shit. But if I'm sleeping with that woman for ten years, nigga, you don't know her like me, bro. I know her intimately. You you looking from the outside? You see, bro. You you don't know what I know, bro. And it's obvious, my nigga. But I'm wrong. <laughs> Yo, you going crazy, man? Bro. Says, I'm smart, but you losing though, bro. And I'm right. Yo. His skin complexion was he was black, nigga. We burnt. So so what white man you know get killed in public by the cops in front of his mom and his friends? Yo, that ain't what we talking about. I'm not no, doing that. No, that's what I'm talking about. It's a prophecy. We dying the same way in front Yo, of our mom, all over the by the cops in the street. Bro, it's the same thing. And guess what? But, but another thing. No, no, no. You polite. Who oh, wait, watch this? Who created slavery? Yo, bro, I'm not gonna be doing these millions of questions. Slavery? Giving me no respect. 
to just stay one place at a time, brother. You you read in right, sentences. Right, it's your turn. It's your turn. It's your turn. You're reading sentences in front of the sentence that I read. That's not how it goes. What we do is if somebody brings something to someone's attention, we evaluate it before we move on. I don't want to play that game. I got I got smoke for you for the second sentence that comes. But the first thing we got to understand, people, is that this brother is saying that the Bible is saying that Jesus had Willie here. But look what it says. This is Negroes wanting to be in white people's business so bad that they start making white people's gods into black people. It says his head. And this is a brother that wasted over 20 minutes of our time acting like he doesn't understand. I'm asking Willie's head. This is a brother that ran into the second sentence because he doesn't understand that one either. And he's purposely ignoring the fact that they make a distinction between his head and his hair. And he says his head and his hairs were white like wool. So did they say his hair was wool? No. Did they say the texture? Did they say his texture was the hair on his head was the texture as wool? No, it doesn't say that. This brother's wrong. He's not reading properly. It's so there's a subject. And it's a predicate. This is a syllogism that we're doing. Syllogistically speaking, there's two premises and a conclusion. You can talk all that funny talk you want to talk. But, bro, if you understand what a syllogism is, if you know what a subject and a predicate is, then you understand that they're not alluding to the texture of his hair. They're alluding to the color of his skin and making a conclusion with his hair in respect to wool. It's not deep. If you can read, it says his head. And his hairs were white, like wool. It doesn't say his hair felt like wool. It didn't say that just like sheep. When you rub the sheep and you rub his hair, his hair feels like wool. <laughs> it's talking about his color. It says his head and his hairs were white, like wool. Now, what I want y'all to do in the comment section, whether you believe this or not, whether you or not, Chris. Bro, talk to me, bro. Don't talk, talk to me. Don't talk to, talk to me, bro. Don't talk to them. Brother, stop, please. Because I have to stop talking to you for a second because you act like you don't hear what I'm saying for 20 minutes. I can hear you, but you come up with air. Context, you bro. come up with air, I answer your questions, and you still want to oblige to answer none. You should be building. So all I'm asking my audience, real quick, is please press 9 if you understand that they're not talking about the texture of his hair, that they're clearly discussing color of something. Can I ask you a question? Color. Can I ask you a question? question? Black people feel so. Can I ask you a question, bro? Can, you, can, can I ask you a question? We, I just want to know. You ask me questions all day. Let me, let me you ain't answer them, bro. You not answering them. That's why I'm talking for 20 minutes, bro. I've been giving you yes and no. I've been giving you yes and no. I've been you yes and no. I've been giving you yes and no. I've been giving you yes and no. I've been giving you yes and no. How can somebody have a white face and black feet? He don't have black feet. So what kind of speak? His speak is the his skin. That's why his his head, bro. So okay, so let me make your point, bro. Because you you adamant, you just want to talk over me. Go ahead. No, the thing is that you want to jump ahead of what we supposed to be evaluating because you don't like that sentence. No, I love the sentence, bro. I explained the sentence. The thing on, is, brother. I'm not trying to talk for 20 minutes. I, I want to give, I want to share space with you. Brother, you wasn't answering for 20 minutes. But when you so asked the questions. Yo, brother, watch this. When I asked you about what color was his head, and you asked me about six fucking times after 20 minutes. I said it was white. I said I told you, it was, I told you he had gray hair and facial hair. And I asked you what color is his head because they make a distinction between head and hair. And this is some weird shit you're suffering because from. Hair because hair is on his body. Bro, you a man. You got hair on your head, your neck, your chest, your legs. You got hair everywhere. So he, he clearly talking about his hairs, bro, on his head and his body. But, the, but, the, but when it says his feet was as burning grass, if you want to be that literal, explain to me how can, he have, a white, if, how can he have a white... How can his face be the same complexion as his hair and his feet be as dark as me and you, burnt, burnt brass. How does that make sense? I'll tell you. Explain Hold on, it. Brother. I'm quiet. Explain it. It makes as much as sense as you thinking they're talking about his texture. Of his hair. You're gaslighting. You 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 dodging. That's not an answer. Answer the question. It makes about as much as sense as you not understanding that your head is different okay. from your hair. So answer my question. Answer I'm my question. answering your question. You keep cutting me off, my brother. Okay, my bad. Go ahead. Come on, exercise some discipline, King. 
I'm not going. I'm not. I'm not trying to chastise you and ridicule. I got you, brother. I respect that. Man. I respect that, brother. My brother, what I'm saying is, if you're not getting the first sentence, you're not going to get the second sentence because you're employing the same illogical, irrational thinking. That's okay. my answer. So before I go to that second sentence. If you don't want to do this, fine. I'll do the rest of this sentence with the people. Oh, no, I'm here for you, and then I'll move on. I'll move on. I'll move on to the second sentence, and then I'll warn myself from the conversation because one, we didn't finish dealing with Egypt when you made that ridiculous claim that the Bible that, was, that the Bible was found in Egypt. And then when I ask you, so that means that the Egyptians read the Bible, and then you turn around, you don't say. Yes, you say, well, they wasn't calling it that. That's not an answer. If I hear Torah. that niggas in Brooklyn use the word son, and then we say, hey, so do niggas in Brooklyn say son when they talk? And you say, well, now, nah, bro, they call it something different. That shit is confusion. That's non-cipher. It makes no sense. If the Bible was found in Egypt, the oldest Bible in the world was found in Egypt, and then I asked you, so the Egyptians was reading the Bible? And then you say, not yes. You say, yo, they call it something different. What are you defending? I didn't even they say call it the Torah. It's the call the Torah. And it's many translations. The Egyptians got many gods, bro. The so Egyptians got like 500 the, gods. I, that's different the gods you know that. we, we don't care if the Egyptians have many gods. Okay, so, all right, so, bro, so how about, how, okay, how about you won this point? You were 100% right. Let's leave that point alone. You're right. I'm wrong. Let's leave it. And okay, so now leave. let's go back to Jesus having a white head. And let's... I That's the point. No, he, Jesus was white. All right, Jesus was white. I'm going to give you that. Because I don't, I don't want to spend too much time on that one point, bro. No. No, bro. We not going right. to... Jesus, 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 he got a he white and black. He meant. He got a white face and black feet. He, I don't he, he mixed, Bro, he's a zebra. Okay, so that's the silly stuff you believe in, but I get it, but I want to let people know what I know from reading and comprehension, and then we can move on. If you want to stand yeah, on your side, right. because that's... that's you now, let's talk about Jesus. Jesus. Now, let's talk about Jesus, because I know you don't believe that Jesus existed, right? I know you don't It's all good, brother. I don't mind. I, I know. Yeah. So, so now, Jesus, bro... So, but when so, I disagree with something, I like, to, I like to laminate my claims. I like to let everyone know where my logic is coming from, what material am I sourcing, so they can understand how I arrived at the conclusion. I don't want to leave it open ended. I don't. I, I had some stuff waiting for your ass for that Bible town in Egypt. But you know, you got in there and you got the fuck up out of there. I, I, I get. It. I, I'm with you. That's about the biggest thing you can do all day today. Because when you ask me a question, and we go watch the review. When you ask me a question, I tell you straight up, yes or no. I tell you, yo. Uh, you don't tell me straight up, bro. You would, no, you don't. That's not all. That's sixteen fifty-two. I tell you yes. I tell you no. Oh, he's white. I said, bro. I told you this three, four, five times. Say it again. Well, how come this that the third? I'm like, bro. Let me get ready to get to that. But how come? All right. So I, I respect that. Yes no. Yes no. That's what I, I, do. I don't want to stay on that point. But you, you want that point? You can have that. Point. No, you don't have to stay on the point. But I'm gonna finish. I'm gonna finish destroying that that bullshit you're talking about. Okay. I want to talk about Jesus though. Jesus. Can we talk about Jesus? That's the bullshit I'm talking about. Yeah, can, so talk I, about his, can we talk more? Can we expand on whether or not Jesus is real? I'm, I'm going to it, my brother. I got you. Hold okay. on. Okay. And so, so now, bro. So you made a point, my little cousin. I, I don't, don't want to run around the place, brother. I, I got to get to. I got to get to what I was talking about for that first verse. Because I don't mind if you don't want to deal with it. And you want to move on and keep moving around every time we. About no, to I don't want to move around. I, you just want to control the narrative, bro. What are we talking? You, it's you, not about control. You but you what? said you were searching. You ain't tell me you was you, that you was trying to kill me. You told me you were searching, and you told me you was looking and listening, and you was open. I was under that oppression. So I'm just trying to share something with you that, that I'm firmly believing that is to be true. But brother, if you don't let you do that, then I mean you're not really searching, brother. Yo, I, I, don't, I don't care about all of that reverse psychology shit. I, I, I want to talk about what we was talking about and go in thorough and exhaust the ideas so people can get something from it. And we keep, we go into something, you run into a little trap, you get the fuck out of there. We go into something else, you run into a trap, we get the fuck out of there. I don't want to keep playing that game. I'm, I'm good wherever we go. I'm good wherever we go. So Okay, so, so let's start from the beginning. So you did that with Egypt. I don't want us doing that with that one sentence before we move to the second sentence. I want to stay on the sentence. And if you're out of gas on that argument, I'll, I'll, I'll finish driving, lead the way, and then we can go to another conversation. But I'm not done building about it. I never got a chance to build because I never got a build from you. So now I got to drive solo. I thought we was riding together with this shit. Okay, so I'm, okay. I'm going to stay here. I'm going to stay right here with you. Read that whole sentence about Jesus. Okay, I'm with you. Read the whole sentence, though. 
Not part the whole sentence. Mm-hmm. If you don't have it, it's Revelation 114. Brother, 15. knock it off. I'm the one that asked you several times. You said nothing about it. And then now you're the one telling me the verse. Knock it off, brother. This is just I'm just, saying, I, I'm, I just want to stay here, bro. I'm not trying to be antagonistic. I really <clears> want to. I don't want to debate. I really want to. I really want to get to some truth. You know, then so we got to read this whole thing. Whole thing. Whole thing. Whole thing. Debate, I'm right. not accepting that that stuff you're talking about. So, uh, it's coming through. <clears throat> you see, this is interesting because when I'm I'm not talking at all. You can you can do your bill. You can say what you guys say. No, I'm waiting. You broke, so it's my turn. Okay. I'm just getting to the to the bottom of this, you know. But Bro. when I start when I start building, I'm gonna ask you, don't cut me off because you're not saying nothing the whole time. I'm being quiet here. Don't don't start filibustering. Because you told me don't move on, bro. I'm trying to respect your platform. I'm not telling you what to do. I'm, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm, I'm a debate, but not to the point where you offended. If I see you offended, I'm not about to keep that. I'm not going to do that. Man, bro, I, I've been offended intent. from the time my you said that. I thought we was going to spar and build. I'm not trying to genuinely offend you, though. So if you, offended, nah, I, don't, I, don't I don't think so. I don't think you're doing I'm that. Stay right here with you. And I'm, I'm I don't think you're doing that, my brother. I don't. I don't feel like that. I got tough skin. Even if I get a little flustered, I got tough skin. Because I'm not concerned. I'm not no, concerned. I'm, I'm going to tell you, I'm offended from the time you try to introduce this white man's doctrine to me. I was already offended. But I understand no, that you're my brother from come. the gate. <laughs> you're my brother from the gate. So <laughs> I'm, I'm not in my feelings other than just getting to this truth. That's all I want to do. Okay, so while you're doing that, then you said I could talk. So what color was Jesus' feet, bro? His actual skin, his feet. I got the verse right here. It's not black, bro. Stop that craziness. Just tell me what it was then. What was it? We'll do this sentence right here. He's a white man, bro. So he's okay, white. Wait, wait, look, you said he's a white man. 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 So his feet. What color was his feet? The point of scripture. Yo, what is this? He's not gonna have African American feet if he got a fucking. What does it say? What does it say? What does it say? Read it. What does it say? I'm pulling it up, brother. Stop. Okay. Okay. I'm with you. Come on, good brother. I'm with you, King. <laughs> okay. I just want to make sure we're not making a, a mistake. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Just wanted to make sure. So now, what we're going to do, we're going to go back to that revelations. Peace to the family there. I know it's getting chippy. But you know, this is how these religious debate and we ain't got no moderator, so forgive us. We're going to see if we can bring y'all more order and more discipline here. But we're going to go to Revelation, right? Because this brother keeps insisting on making the head his hair because it says that his head and his hair were white like wool. Not that his head had the, his hair had the texture of wool and his head had to touch the wool too. That makes no sense. So what we're gonna do to just go a little further, this is called a Hebrew concordance, or Greek concordance, pardon me, a Greek lexicon. Okay, so we're gonna go to the Greek lexicon and we're gonna see that this is Revelations chapter one, verse 14. And we're going to get the word for word breakdown to make sure Brother Polite is not playing around. So it says his head, look at this right here. This is the Greek concordance or lexicon, pardon me. Oh, boom, boom, watch this. Here we go. Let's go here. That's the word for head. Strong's G, 2776, FLA. Okay, let's go down to the lexicon. Boom. What's the word? Let's look here. The head, both of men and often animals. You see that? So it's definitely the word head. Okay? It's definitely the word head. Hefale is the word being used. This is very important, family. So now what we're going to do, we're going to go to the word hair. And we want to make sure they're not using the same word. G twenty three fifty nine. Freaks. 
Okay, so the word for hair is threeks. And hey, look, and hey, look, what does it say? It says the hair of the head. Oh, wow. So they made a distinction between hair and the head. They make it clear. They're talking about the hair of the head. And we saw the word head prior to this. Why am I doing this foolish shit? I just want to make sure. I just want to make sure. Because for some reason, this brother. That's not the same word, bro. <laughs> it's not the same word. Thank you. It is not. So, That's so, right. So, so, and, hold up. And. My brother, I asked you, don't do it when I'm doing what I'm doing because you had nothing to say the whole time I was pulling it up. Bro, I asked so, you. You doing this because I asked you. I asked you. And you said nah, his no, feet was white. This. You ain't asking me to do this. You're asking for it by not answering. You said his feet was white, polite. You said that. And when we play it back, you said his feet was white. <laughs> I hear you, brother, but we're not talking about that right now. So you got to read the whole scripture, bro. <laughs> I, I hear you, but you got to read one sentence at a time. No, I'm going to read it. You're not going to fast forward and, and do what you want to do. It don't work like that. We read one sentence and we dissect the sentence. And then I'm going to ask you again, my brother, when it says that his head and his hair, let's do it. His head and his hairs were white, like wool. Are you still saying that they're saying that his hair touched his wool? Do you stand on that? Yes. Why, how can his face be like wool and his hair? <laughs> Yo, the question is the answer, bro. That means you're wrong. Yes, it's his hair, bro. It's the, it, it, wool is texture, not pigmentation. Let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a serious question. Bro, I've studied it. I know, bro. But, Let me ask you a question. But now you're ready to ask me a question and you didn't answer mine. All right. To that I, I, I what color was his feet? Let me finish my point. Never mind. I want to ask you a question. Let me finish my point. I want to ask you guys out there in your uh, Instagram world. Let me ask you guys a question. If somebody dyed their hair pink, and I said that his hair, like, and I said his hair is pink like grapefruit, does it mean that his fucking hair feels like a grapefruit, or am I alluding to the color of the grapefruit? I'm asking you guys out there if I'm making any sense. If I say someone's hair is pink like grapefruit, does it mean that their hair feels like grapefruit, or does it mean that their hair is pink? Like grapefruit. So why do you read the Bible? What like? Okay, so bro, what was his feet? Brother, please answer that. What was his feet? I'm making my point. Let me what was his feet? Let me okay, you're right. His face was white and his hair was white. I said to I can't do that. Just on the I'm gonna give you that. But now, what color was his feet? Though? Hold on. You're not gonna do that for me. Let me do that for me. I don't want you proving my point for me. I'll do it for me. You proved my point already. That we that we dealing with something way bigger than religion here. So what I'm saying to my people in conclusion is that it's important for black people to not be able to read what they see. It's important for black people to attach themselves to this white man's doctrine. Because clearly we see that his hair and his head was white like wool. Not that his head and his hair, because if, if his hair was like wool in that story, in that context, his Head would be like wool in that context. Okay, okay. My brother, okay. that wouldn't make sense. So okay. when they tell you that his head and his hair is white, okay, like okay. wool, that they're not making a reference to the texture no more than if someone had pink hair, if their pink hair was pink like grapefruit. It wouldn't make sense to come to that conclusion. All right, okay. So now, the question becomes, why are black people telling you that this... No, no, no. Don't ask a new question, bro. You said I'm you were going to read the whole scripture. I ask you this because you don't answer my question, so I said... I answer every question, bro. No, you don't. So I, I, you I'm said you were going to read the whole scripture, bro. You're not I, reading it. I got you. So I'm just going to exhaust what I'm saying for this sentence and okay. then move forward because I'm tired okay. of running around. I, respect that. I got you. I got you. And so what I'm saying is, my brothers and sisters, why would it be so important for black people to attach themselves to this mythological creature that they call Jesus in the Bible? Why is it so important to suggest that he had a hair texture like ours when it clearly doesn't say it? Even after we read it slowly, even after we go to the Greek lexicon, no matter what we do, okay? We can go to the lexicon, we can go to the concordance. No matter what we do, it's very clear that we have to attach ourselves to this white man's God. And it's part of the reverse psychology. 
We felt so inferior, so downtrodden, so abused, subject to extreme poverty in the form of destitution, that we attach ourselves to their crazy ass ideas and try to turn it into something black. It don't belong to you, no matter how much you paint the faces, no matter how much you try to make his hair be something that's not more. It don't belong to us. This is insane that I gotta go over a sentence like this. Now, let's go, people. Okay, now, now, now it's my turn, right? Now it's my turn. So I'm gonna read the whole scripture if you don't wanna read. So, so Revelation go one sentence at a time. Earth. Say it again. I wanted to. I just want one sentence at a time. Okay, saw... Revelation. Revelation <clears throat> see, I'm, I'm an education now because see, I, this I'm I'm the believer, so I know. Scripture says in literal context that we have to study the word precept upon precept upon precept to, to use multiple scriptures to come to one conclusion. That's literal doctrine. So it means you cannot take one scripture and it's too literal. Otherwise, you're going to be deceived like you're expressing now. So two things. I'm going to read the scripture and then I'm going to give you a second concept or precept that, that establishes the truth about his complexion, right? So Revelation 1, 14 through 16, his head and his hairs was white like wool, as white as snow. And his eyes were flame, were as flame of fire, and his feet were like unto fine brass, if they had been burned in a furnace. <laughs> and his voice, and his voice as the sound of many waters, and he had in his right hand seven stars, and out of his mouth went a sharp two as a sword, and his countenance was as the sun shineth in strength. Now you know white people ain't strong like that. But anyway, let's talk about this. Now, we also know, according to scripture, Jesus was born in Jerusalem. What, what white people born in Jerusalem, bro? In Israel. What white people is born in Israel? In that time. What white people, and then scripture, another precept to establish the validity of what, see, you, bro, that's the thing, you don't actually study the word, so you're just using Google and trying to get translations to find contradictions, but I'm, the, the Bible, God don't need help, he just needs a, a communicator. The Bible is perfect in itself. Precept upon precept, if you, if you take multiple scriptures about him where he was born at, where he hid at as a baby, he hid in, he hid in Egypt to disguise, him, to, to disguise himself amongst all the other babies that was black, nigger like me and you. So how, how a person, how a baby with white hair and white wool hide in Egypt from, the, from a rock who's trying to kill him? That's impossible, but you don't notice because you don't study. See, you, 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 that, you, you that person that's looking at that girl from the outside studying her, I'm the one I've been sleeping with her for 10 years, so I know her intimately. I understand. So, so scripture supports itself and it proves that you're wrong. You talk, scripture doesn't even say he had white wool until he was in his older age. He was an adult when his hair, when his hair turned gray. Nigga, scripture don't talk about him prior to when scripture talked about that prior to him, his birth, he wasn't white. Scripture says he was black and he hid in Egypt because that is what the, the community, the population, he could hide from the police who was trying to kill him. Now. The Bible's also a prophecy. Where else, what, in what time of, of, of history do you see the police chasing, trying to kill white boys? They've been killing black boys forever, bro. Now, let's get off that point because you can have- Bro, I want to do the second sentence. Truth, you can't hide, bro, hold on, hold on, bro. I want to do the second sentence. You can have that point if you want, my nigga. Look, me, look you can't hide the truth you, you got wrong. Bro, you so said he got- So leave that point alone. Hold on, he King, burnt right? feet, bro. Say it again. He has burnt feet. And it's the contradiction to what I was saying, right? That's what you no, said. No, it's not a contradiction. In your mind, it's a contradiction. In my mind, he has gray hair and black skin. You calm down. Calm down. I agree it's with you. Turn, bro. Hold on, hold on. King, I King, agree King. with you. It's a contradiction. No, it's, it's not. You making it one. Everything. You I agree. agree. I agree. No, 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 no. no. You, you, you trying agree. to manipulate and create a point that I didn't make. Bro, it's it's my time to speak, bro. It's my turn, though. Even if you agree. I you were moving on point. to another but, subject. Hey, 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 I'm going to act like you, bro. I don't need you to establish my point for me. Let me speak. You were moving on to don't another subject. Don't establish my point for me, but I, I can speak. Don't, you were moving on to another subject. Because I know what I'm talking about. Yo, That's this is scary, me. man. This is crazy. Like, you a grown man. You was moving on to another subject. I want to go to the... Like, it's my turn, sentence. bro. What you mean? I thought we was talking on the second sentence. You was moving on. You said you was done. Okay, so let's go. I, I'm going to stay here. Let's go. We're going on the second sentence now, right? Oh, okay, good. You're done. So now no, we. I, I, I don't want to disrespect you, bro. I genuinely, bro. I admire you, bro. You a strong black man. I appreciate man. I'm that, never my trying brother. To tell you. We just argue in context. I'm not attacking you, and I don't ever want my behavior to make it. I got tough skin, brother. I'm not, bro. I got tough skin. I just want to get to the second sentence. 
I just want to get to the second sentence because now when I'm now I'm talking, y'all, and yes, we know this would be a great contradiction that if Brother Polite says it clearly says that Jesus has a white head and white hair, like whoa. So I say yes. So if he had a white head. And if you don't know proto-Semitic languages, they will identify things as hey, that's the best translation that they can do in English. But that's another conversation. But instead of saying, yeah, hey, like here, no, there's head and there's head. So the reality is this. They let you know that Jesus was a pale man. Now the conflict of interest is this feet like burnt brass conversation. Now what I want to ask everybody out there, let me ask you guys out there. This is what I mean by functional illiterates. Let me ask you guys out there. When you burn brass, does it get darker? When you burn brass, what color do you see? Uh oh. What about when it cools down? Oh. Nigga, don't manipulate. Oh, calm down. Don't. It didn't say burning. It, it didn't say burning precipitous. It said burn E D. Nigga, what, what color is brass when it cool down? How do you burn it? Stop being manipulative. Come Yo, on, can bro. I read? Let's, Yo, bro. Bro. let's go. Let's move on, bro. Nah, because nah, we ain't moving on. Bro. You scared. Stop, bro. I just told you, burning when you're when it's burning, it gets lighter. When it's burnt afterwards, it's darker. And it's just doesn't say his speech was as burning, you, brass, you, bro. You trying to play, bro? I ain't, I'm, bro. I ain't, bro. Come on, let's leave it alone because you lost this. Bro. Let's leave it alone. How you want to leave my point alone? I'm not leaving my point alone. You sound weird. It's, it's, it's my point. Remember, I said what he looked like. It's my point. It's not your point. He defended my point. Okay. Uh. Okay, brother. Let me finish. I, I want to read sentence number two. All right, so let's 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 watch this point. Can, can you just listen to him get this work? I heard a lot of people's unemployed during this coronavirus. I'm giving out work, okay? So watch this. <laughs> bro, you're I'm getting bothered, but like you, I'm bothering you, bro. Honestly, I'm giving out work. So he said, "No, nigga, it, it's not, it's not burn, it's not presently burned, it's not burning, it's already burnt." That's what he said, right? So let's go to the word that they're using. Oh my God! To the word, I've never seen this before in my life. Well, yes, I have all the time with religious people. But it's very interesting, right? How when you're going to look up the facts, how people say, oh, my gosh, he's going to the dictionary again. Oh, my gosh, he's going to translate the word again. Oh, my gosh. What the hell are we supposed to do when there's a conflict of interest about literature? You do a comparative study. You do some kind of uh, philological perusal. You do some kind of linguistics. You don't sit here and argue. So when a man says polite, something that's presently burning. Something after it's burnt. What color is it, nigga? After it cools off and it's burnt. So now the question is: Let's look up the word. So the word that they use as if it was burnt, right? Let's look up that word burnt, burnt, and let's see the context. Because according to him, it's not presently burning. Because if it burnt already, it cools off and it turns dark. Well, let's look up the word. Let's sound it out. He forty-four forty-eight. Porao. Porao. Okay, so that's the word they're using for burn. But that's the English translation. What does it mean? <clears throat> oh look. What does that say? Be on fire. It doesn't say that it stopped being on fire. It says to be on, be on fire. Look, it says, look at this, everybody. You see, you talk too much. It says be on fire. So the word they're using means something is presently burning. Now, hold on. Let's go to the word brass. Let's go to the word brass. So as if, so we have Revelation 115, right? We go to the Greek, and it says, and his feet. Look at this. Niggas trying to claim some nigga based on his fucking feet. Look at these niggas out here. So, and his feet. Like, brother, I'm talking, brother. And his feet, and his feet, like onto what brass. So his feet was like brass. Now we know the brass is presently burning, right? Let's look up the word in Greek. What is the word in Greek? Strong's G fifty four seventy four. Kalibanon. Kalibanon. What's Kalibanon? Oh oh. So his feet were burnt like brass. So we know it's definitely burning. What color is brass when it's burning? Let's find out. Let's get it clear. It's a noodle of a compound. 
Hold on. Can't go to number, concordance number, in the implied mean of whiteness, all brilliancy, burnished copper. So hold on. What color do we see? White. Burnished copper. <laughs> whiteness, my brother, I'm talking, whiteness, all brilliance. We're just going to ignore the words white all over again. Because what color is brass when it's burning? If you ever was in school and you got to light some magnesium or you lighted some, some, uh, uh, Precious metals, the ones they gave you were so thin, they were palpable, and when you put the fire to it, it turned white. They say don't stare right at it. So it's feet. And all they're doing is reinforcing the fact that Jesus is a white fucking No, they not. Okay, so I'm going to read this again. It's implied. I'm not telling you it's implied. Look at this. In the implied meaning of whiteness or brilliancy. This is copper, bro. Yo, I'm talking, bro. Stop that. You can, you can do all of that on your time, and I'll be quiet, bro. You're not going to give me my time, bro. My brother, you can do that on your time, brother. Okay. Okay. I'm not going to cut you off. Okay. I got you. I respect that. Whiteness or brilliancy. So so now we're going to go back here, and we realize what, people? This ain't your fucking God. Black people made this your God. Now, when grass is burning, we, we literally saw, thanks to him, it was a very good thing that he said. It's clear I do study. It's clear I know what I'm talking about because the second he said, no, bro, what color does it look like when it's done? So he shows me a penny, says it's copper, and that shit is like less than 8% copper, but we, we won't even deal with that conversation. He shows me the finished product of something. But what they described was not something as a finished product. They described something in the interim of it being burnt. And, and, it, and it moves the brilliancy and it implies whiteness, which will corroborate the testimony of his head and his hair being white like wool. So now we have a match for his white head. We have a match for white feet. Now we know we're not fucking fucking this whole goddamn time. Because I can read and I can write. My brother, I know you're seeing these things for the first time and you're alarmed. But guess what? Jesus is not your God. They kidnapped your last name. Gave him, they gave him to you. And you won't let him go, and you're attempting to make him something that he's not. That's why, let me close it out. This is why the white man was successful in believing in Jesus while we were unsuccessful in believing in Jesus because Jesus is a white man with white fucking people. So he got away with slavery because the slave master can't pray to the same goddamn God as the slave and don't both get the same results. Okay, we share the same fucking God. So when we see that we've been oppressed for over 400 fucking years, common sense tells you whose God is actually in favor of who? The white man's God is in favor of the white man. He don't give a goddamn about it. And when black people go back to their creators, back to the worship of themselves, their ancestors, their women, when we start to reveal ourselves on a higher level and stop adopting fake, false, mythological gods, when we learn how to read and write, and study and stop going with the false narrative, this white man slipped. He took your fucking ass into thinking you was gonna out trick him with a book that he gave you, nigga. Wake up. All right, my son. Now, polite. I thought you told me to stop screaming, stop yelling. You told me all that you just did. You did, bro. But look, though. But look, though. I'm right here with you, though. I'm right here with you. Make it up, bitch. Listen, 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 burning brass, and you looked up the definition of copper, bro. This is copper. But scripture also made sure, well, like, scripture also made sure you couldn't get it wrong because as soon as it said burning brass, it said as if they had been burned in a furnace. So, so, so scripture does not leave room for error. You, you can try to pull up all you want and try to talk for 20 minutes. All you want is established. So what you're telling me, you're telling me that his face and his hair was the same shade of white. White people face and hair. White people got black hair. They got blonde. They don't have white. Bro, you can't even make you. You're making that up. And then you telling me that his feet was a different color. And even if it was, even if it was, and even if it's according to your logic, even if his feet was a different color of, of grass, it ain't the same color as his face as wool. Why would the Bible describe a face and the skin complexion and the pigmentation and the face different from a foot? And then say the face is the same complexion as the hair. Bro, you're confused and you're wrong. And I'm telling you, I, it's simple. I don't got to pull up. Bro, these people, listen, I know y'all don't care about all the translations. 
that black trying to pull up, but he's telling you that Jesus is multicolored. He's not no Skittles, my nigga. He don't got a, he don't got a form of white feet and a different form of white, a white face and a different form. Bro, you, that's crazy. And, so, and you have to take more, and I gave you two other scriptures to establish the, the legitimacy of the Bible's claim and his complexion. So, and also, you know white people not born in Israel. You know that. So why are you going to sit here and say, bro, the fact that he was born, in, see, it don't even matter, bro. So my point is made. I'm really ready to move from that point. If you want to have it, like, you can have it. Because I want to talk about something deeper, like the existence of Jesus, because that's the biggest thing between me that I want to communicate to you. If you want that point, it's yours. Congratulations. He got, he got a different shade of white, and his feet is a different light blue, whatever you just made up, nigga. That's what it is. That's what you're saying. And you're saying that because, bro, that's not even real. Bro, the Bible, bro, that's not even real, bro. You like, this nigga. So anyway, we're gonna leave that alone, bro. Let's leave that alone. So, so, so now, now Jesus, bro, now you said something to twerk, right? And you always say this, because I'll be listening. <laughs> I'll be listening to your, I'll be listening to your, uh, to your, to your debates. And I like you. I really do like you. You said, and you tell, and you said to everybody, where was Jesus at when we was going through slavery? When it was cutting our nuts off. Now, that, that's what you said. So, so basically, that's the, that's the next point that I want to talk about is how you blame Jesus and the belief in Jesus, and you make him responsible for oppression. So, can we talk about that? Can we, can we talk about that? Yes or no, bro? Because you won't laugh. You can't laugh your way out of truth, bro. I see you already. You won't keep. You can't laugh. You was just animated, bro. Let, come on. Let, let, let's stay here, bro. Don't, don't try to communicate. Pat, don't, stop being passive aggressive, bro. Deal with the truth. We talking about the Bible, right? Let's deal with it, you want, bro, you want, bro. You can't laugh this off, bro. You losing, but it's okay. So can we talk about? Can we talk about Jesus and your statement that if? Jesus is real. Why he sat back and watched us go through 400 years of slavery? Can we discuss that? Go ahead, shoot for it, man. Shoot for it. This shit is crazy, bro. You, you, I bro, know, bro. Right. No, 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 no. Yes or no? Yes or no? I don't even know what you're talking about. This shit is ridiculous. All right, so, bro. So, so, so that's the thing. Now you want to get, bro, so listen. Whatever you know what? Whatever you want to talk about, I'm down with it. I, I, it don't even matter. Because you, 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 <laughs> like you missed the whole point for real. Like you really missed the whole bro. point. You, you really doing this on purpose? Well, tell me you trolling me, man. You trolling? Bro. You trolling in these late hours? Bro, it's, listen. It's, it's, it's a lot of people who deceive, but a lot of people in the comments can see, bro. They not yeah. stupid. And you can't laugh this off, bro. You don't Yo. make no sense. I'm, you know that. You don't make sense. You trolling you during the coronavirus, so bro. It's the coronavirus. You trolling? <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I'm not just going to talk just to talk, bro. If we're not going, if we're not going to build for real, because when I was <laughs> laughing, you told me ain't funny. We're not going to build. Yelled, you told me please calm down. But bro, you stop being manipulative. Right that, that, that's what happens when you don't know God, bro. When you don't know God, you do you pull antics like that. You, that's that's what happens, bro. Be, listen, be one way. If you you said we're going to build genuinely, then let's build genuinely. I'm sorry, I ain't got it in me for the rest of the night. You, I, you, you, I respect that. Let's take you, this you as your first day, person. Man. You got a body, and it's obvious, and we got to meet in person. Listen, listen, we got to meet in person one day, because forget the debate, right? I want to I wanna connect with you, bro. I love what you do. I love how you move. And I can kill you in person. I love what you do if it's comedy. I love what you do. If it's comedy, <laughs> yo, bro, you got me in tears, son. Bro, like, you, you don't know the Bible, like, bro. bro. You don't know the Bible, bro. You, put, you don't know, bro. You don't know. You said on the outside. I know this. I know God personally, but like, we, we, I know him personally. You don't. You, you don't. You don't. You don't. Uh, send me a, a request so I can put God up in here. That's like, bro, that's like saying send a request so you, I can put the, the, your ancestors in here, the spirits of your ancestors, the gods and the deities that we, come on, bro, that's childish. You can't do that. It's childish. But when God is in you, though. God is in both. God is in you, bro. No, that, 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 that God. Yeah, through rape, I might have some of that pale man. No, bro. Okay, so listen. I, I ain't got no I, white feet, though, bro. I know you said his name. I ain't got no white feet. I'm going to bow out. I'm going to bow I know you said Pardon. you ain't got it in you for the rest of the night. 
Bro, I yeah, enjoyed man, the video. Man, I had enough of this. Let's talk later, and I appreciate the time, bro. I appreciate Yo, it, bro. I appreciate you, man. We got to do it again, Thank my you, bro. Thank bro. We're going to connect. Let's do it again. Tonight, Let's do it again. Let's be more organized. Let's do it like that. Absolutely. We'll set it back up. Enjoy your night, bro. Yeah, definitely, but I, I, I wish you the best, my brother. All, all love and thank you. Absolutely, bro. Hey, I well, definitely bro, need more harm and ever, disrespect. Kind of I don't I feel no harm or disrespect from you, and I, and I appreciate you. I have no bad feelings about you. Absolutely, and, bro. It's all love, bro. It's and, and I thank you for the opportunity to deal with you, man. You, Touch like I said thanks, man. Absolutely. Jesus saves. Oh, come Hallelujah. On, bro. Stop it. Let me, <laughs> here. Let me get you out of here. <laughs> Yo, Keith is a wild dude, man. Oh, shit. Yo, what the hell is that? Yo, Los, please, Los, come come give us some sense. I can't, I can't, I don't want to even talk to nobody. Unless <laughs> gonna... <laughs> I don't want to talk to nobody unless they're going to make sense tonight. Yo, twerk. Twerk, you yo. smarter than him, twerk. Hey, yo, twerk did way better than him. <laughs> Hey, twerk. Son, this dude made me literally laugh till I cried. Hey, my nigga. I don't even know what just happened. I'm still so confused. <laughs> Yo. Yo, my nigga. Yo. Yo, that shit was bizarre. Bargain bizarre. <clears throat> that nigga was Yo, selling shit. everything. Yo, that shit was bizarre. Son. Yo, you did not say tell that nigga to get in the chat. He said you know God personally. You said tell that nigga to get in the chat. Yeah, he said a fucking request. Yo, you got to chill, yo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Hey, Keith. Yo. What were you trying to accomplish, Keith? Yo. I, I, yo, I yo. had that one in the chamber for years. Never gave them that one. <clears throat> my nigga. Never gave them that one. Yo. That, that's, that's the crazy. ultimate banger. Yo. <laughs> King Don DeMarco, Don DeMarco. <laughs> <laughs> he thought I was avoiding shit the second like that, one. Shit like that. And, yo, this is why I build cats up to give them false sense of confidence. And he think hey. I want to avoid the second sentence when he don't yo, realize the second sentence is the killer. He didn't even know it was the killer. And look, he wanted it so bad, he wanted to skip. And he was like, nah, you're going to get this ass whooping in parts. <laughs> 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 hey, yo. you know, you got to go get the switch. I'm making you walk to go get your own switch. <laughs> like Jesus, back, I'm gonna whip your ass with it. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Most of them watching this shit because I I seen a blur. I was actually looking for him, and, hey, and yo. I saw him say, "Yo, put me." In. I'm like, "Yo, it's crazy. He was in tune." I was like, "Yo, I don't want to take a risk and talk to someone weird. I, I not not for tonight. I'm done. I'm, I had two days of this shit. That shit is hey, yo. yo. This shit got me crying. He think I'm trying to troll him. I'm in tears." This nigga said, so he think he's multi -colored. Where you getting that from? Hey, like, who are you? Was you this whole time? And Yo. you know what? That's some insanity shit. Like, Yo, that shit was why insane. Say what color is his head? Pause. Let me just pause 10 times in advance. Not wanting to say what color is his head. <laughs> ignoring that shit. <laughs> ignoring it over and over and over. I'm like, Yo. And then does this. Every time I say what color is his head, his hair. So I'm like, now I'm gonna have to show this nigga. Hey, my nigga, hey, hey, two hey, polite, words can you hit. tell me? Can you answer me this? Why was he so offended by scholarship? Yo, you want to look up words and translations? Do you know the first thing he said? The very first thing he told you is that he would use science to explain God. Yo, he, he, hey, oh, he bro, said. I had something for that too, and I still got it open. So I Wait, every time him. you went to the scholarship, to the actual science. Of the words, the, the the literature, he didn't want to do that. Bro. It's cr I don't know, bro. He said, I don't know, bro. That shit get nutty to me, bro. It gets real uh, nutty, bro. Uh, uh, it gets real, them real Christian, like Them that. Christian niggas got the worst diets, bro. Yo, look at this. Look at this shit right here. When he said that the Bible, right, is full of uh, metaphysics and shit, I was going to take him to Malachi chapter 2, verse 3. When he said, yo, the Bible's full of science. When I only asked him who's the narrator of the Bible. Who's the narrator of the book of Genesis? That nigga and said I give it to Moses. Him in English. I give it to him in English. I give it to him in Hebrew. I, I'm, I'm, I'm like, and then I take him to another verse, Genesis 3, 14, with the, and the devil's the most subtle beast of the field that the Lord God ever made. I'm like, yo, hold on. So someone's talking about God, and someone's talking about the devil. So who's the one that's talking? First answer was, <clears throat> the Bible is a scientific book, and it's metaphysical, and, it, and it's about the universe. 
That's not an answer. So watch this. When he said that, I had this waiting. But he's so out of control. I need a moderator. <laughs> Life is crazy. So look at this. The Bible is so <laughs> the Bible is so scientific, y'all, that God told someone this: "Behold, I will corrupt your seed and spread dung. This is doo doo up on your face, even the dung of your solemn feast, and one shall take you away with it." So this was to somebody: if you don't do what God's what God commands you to do, he says you're going to spread shit all over your face. This is a scientific text. And then guess what I would have had to do with that nigga? I would have had to now look up the word to make sure it's actually the word shit. And he would have said, y'all want to look at translations? I thought we was here to build. This is what we're doing out here. See these guys, when I say, when I tell you in the beginning, God created the heavens and earth and the earth was so I form and void the darkness upon the face of the day. Yeah, I don't fucking care about that book. But what you're not going to do, you got to actually watch my, you got to go through my catalog. And that's just the first question in evil. You got to go through my catalog and you got to say this. If I watched Flight enough times, if you really was fucking with me, you wouldn't even got on this shit talking to me with this dumb shit. Because I know you are out of work. Once I start going to the concordance and the lexicon, once I start going into the Hebrew and breaking the words down, once I start reciting scripture, bro, when I told him go to the verse where Jesus is black, he refused to. <laughs> when I got to read it, it's as if it's a Eureka. Oh, yeah, they go that verse. Yo, know, if you want to know where the verse is, you can go to the chapter. I'm like, nigga, stop it. Nigga, stop it. You see this type of weird? You gotta, that's when I'm like, now I gotta start leaning on you. Cause this is getting weird. You didn't do it actually 20 times. Yo, the first, the oldest Bible in the world is found in Egypt. Okay, so the, the Egyptians was reading the Bible. They called it something different. It wasn't. What that's what we doing. You see, when someone tell me some bullshit, I go with it. Now I said, I'm being facetious. I know the year and the period they want me to say when the Bible first came about. But I'm starting that bitch off from the transatlantic slave trade. And there's a reason why I would do that. But I can never get to that. So when I say I, I preface my statement by saying I'm being facetious. And the reason why I did it is because he thought he had one up on me when he thought I didn't know how far it goes back. So he said, oh, it was in Egypt. And I finally got him to commit to something because these niggas don't like to commit. So I said, oh, I got him. I'm so froggy. I got him to jump. Now let's talk about that Bible in Egypt. I set his ass up, he got the fuck out of there and started bringing up new arguments. And then you know, I'll find them in seconds. You know, the Bible was found in Egypt. Watch this. So the Egyptians was reading the Bible. Um, yo, they, they called it different names. So they called it different names. What the fuck did the Egyptians call it? And why is it necessary to establish that? <laughs> Come on, man. Our ancestors read the Amduit. They were at the, the Book of Gates, and these are the, is known as the world's first two scientific books on the planet. The Amduit and the Book of Gates is known as the world's first two scientific texts on planet Earth. Then you got the Pakistan Pamawit or the planet Emuru. You got the Pyramid text. You got the continuous the set in Horus. Like, yo, come on, stop playing with me. Yo, I got my bag, but it ain't <laughs> no secret on my bag to him. Ain't no type on the list. Yo, answer me this. Why do, first of all, the majority, the majority of Christian the, uh, theologians despise Egypt? They despise Egypt and, and, and teachings. So now, when it's convenient, you want to say that the Bible. Yo, when it's convenient. The, the, the Bible's in Egypt. So the Egyptians read the Bible? Yo, they call them different names. Bro, why are you upset with the answer? You, I didn't even battle you yet. All I wanted to know is a dumb answer. It was a dumb question because actually we should have just assumed the Egyptians must have been reading the Bible since they found the oldest Bible in the world in Egypt. You could have just took a lucky guess and said yes, but you yourself know you're full of shit and you were trying to use some tactics. He was trying to use some fucked up tactics in the debate. He was trying to just lie at random and he want to run around instead of, yo, you debating somebody, you're supposed to exhaust that point until niggas run out of gas. Why he get out of here so quick though? Why he get up out of here so quick? <laughs> yo, yo, he was getting out of there on every point. He was like, skirt, skirt. He was like, yo, yo. and he was like, Jesus was black. Never mind his head, his feet was black. 
His hair was wool. Bro, it don't say his hair is wool. It says it was white like wool. And niggas can't read. They pull this shit all the time. So it's now time to stop him in their tracks. Yo, that shit is the worst. Yo, that's a body slam. You know what? I'm going to tell you the truth, bro. I was holding that shit back, right? Because low-key, I wanted to put that on a big stage and get some pastor. That's why I certain shit, I don't like doing these shit. Because I like it for a big stage. But a nigga get me mad and make me start going in my bag for that real slick shit. Because I know what a nigga feel in his heart. He, his hair like wool and his feet burnt like brass. We still going to use that. Running, and then look how I caught this nigga. I be making them frogs jump. He was we still going to use that. Hey, we still using that. What you talking about? We still using that, nigga. <laughs> hey, that, that, that's like me not using do nigga shit. <laughs> I, I'm still using. We still using that. Still using that. Yo, hey, should I play? Should I play? Do nigga shit. Just, yeah, please do. Should I play yeah. that? Please do. And I still need it, bro. I ain't get it. I'm about to I send you like. I'm about to. I'm about to send you like twelve records. Please, man. Do I gotta send you my email? You still got it? Yeah, you can send me. You can send me your email. Yeah, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna put it in the chat. It's brother polite forty five because I don't want to. Start I'm about, to about when we hang up, text it to me, but put it in the chat too. So. <laughs> Yeah, I got it over there. But yo, so he thought he was cooking with the. But read the second one. Read the second one. So what I do in the debate, I act like them and act like I don't realize what someone's asking me to do, so I can make them more aggressive about proving the point. And right. then when the nigga saw, that nigga saw me smiling the whole time, being quiet. So when the nigga saw I came out the smiling, yo, I want to do the second verse. That nigga said, yo, matter of fact, let's go somewhere else. The next nigga, you was just screaming. Let's do the second, the second joint. So back when back when I the battle rap like when battle rap was only in the streets right, I used to do that tactic to niggas because niggas would come out hot right niggas would come out flaming, and I'd be like if that nigga came out the gate that fast he got oh, he don't, up he don't he run got, out of gas he don't gas out he he going gas out so I'm like all right bet I'm gonna hit him with something light but still kind of got some spice on it and let me see where he take this then I watch his second round niggas just start to do this. And, that, and when you stand and you just let him speak, when you didn't give him points to argue, when you just did like this, he he start to hear himself. And he didn't like what he heard himself. I noticed he did. He was like, oh, shit, I'm not making. You got it. You got it. You got it. Fuck it. You got it. Let's go. He's like, no, no. Let's go. Stand right. The, the main thing, the burning brass, the main shit that you wanted to pump, now you want to leave it? Yo, the nigga said, it's not, it's not uh, burning. It's burnt, so it's already done, and when something's Why burnt, it's good. That? I said, "Woo, you just let me." I got. I wasn't even going to do that to you. Yo, yo, I said, yo. So let's let's see what brass looks like when it's burning. Oh, oh. it's it, it's white, and it's brilliant, and brilliant is even in chemistry. You know, that alludes to whiteness when something's being lit. Brilliance, exactly. Brilliant. So diamond. We talking it about says, it, it says implied white or white brilliance. It said that his head and his hairs were not only not only was his head and his hairs as white like wool, but also as white as snow. It also said that. Yo, his head. This is what they mean by head in proto-Semitic language. And hair. So that means they made a clear distinction between the two. Between the two. They, they, and they used two words. Bro, they created a basis in which you could differentiate the two. Period. And then they body slam you with the burning brass because the presumption is whoever's reading this knows what brass being burnt looks like. Right. It's white. But you're trying to tell you this nigga is super fucking white. He's the whitest right. shit we ever seen on the planet. They've That's what using, they're saying. You may never say this against a Hebrew. I'm so mad that you never use this against a Hebrew ever. I would have oh. taught <laughs> That's so mean. I've been holding that and I wanted it on a big stage with a pastor. Hey, hey, the quarantine got it coming out. It got it jumping out. <laughs> it's the quarantine. Who want this work? Who want this work? Bro giving this work out. Hey, hey, twerk, why you set your mans up like that? You yeah, don't you let that man. Definitely did that, twerk. That's all that body's on your hands. Hey, that's because you were so yeah. nice to work. He was like, hey, you're going to destroy Polite. I'm telling you, I, I almost kind of had him. He thought you baited him so crazy. Oh, my God. Put them niggas to sleep. Hey, twerk, I'm strapped in. <laughs> <laughs>
Hey, I love, hey, I love, I ain't gonna lie though, on that stage though, can't oh, nobody dance with 12. That would have been Summer Jam. It would have been yo, Summer Jam. Yo, that, that would have been crazy, yo. That would have been. I, I got some shit though. I still got black women on onks with afros. I got some shit I ain't put out. These are facts. I travel the world. Got my video. I got the reference for the museum. I got it all, bro. Early can, Christians had a early never, Christians had a black woman on an onk with a fro before they had that pale beast. Early Christians, and they put it on their tombstones too. I got that. I got that work. This nigga never been nowhere where they claim Christ was. He never traveled to these places. Never. He never did no true scholarship on us. He's telling you where his beliefs are. He's arguing with you from a belief standpoint, from a faith based. That's not scholarship. Is you do not. What color was Jesus? I just said the nigga don't exist. How I'm a, now reference the color? Yeah, what is that? What is that? That How was the weird. Hell you asking me? And I'm telling you, I don't, I don't believe in this, but I can read and I can comprehend that if we read in the Bible, son is white. He thought his point was going to kill you, though. <laughs> Yo, he, 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 and then he tried to get up out of here. The Bible said, you said white. He was like, oh, I'm about to cook this nigga. <laughs> he thought he was about to cook. <laughs> <laughs> My nigga, that's crazy. That was some that was some deep shit. I ain't gonna lie. Hey, I, finally got, I finally got a chance to see how it looks when I put it on somebody with that shit. Yeah, bro. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. That was like the um I don't know if was, I don't know if that was your rope of dope. The <laughs> rope of dope for real. <laughs> Damn, that's that's real shit. <clears throat> Matter of fact, trouble. you rope a dope with twerk because you was kind of just you know, weaving. You ain't really swing on twerk. You ain't Sour. swing. Yeah, yeah. Twerk, twerk. Just, but the shoulder dude. roll, you did the shoulder roll, man, on, on bro. That was the that was the Mayweather. That was the Floyd. Son thought he was smelling blood. That's why. I'm hey, like, hey. oh, I got, I got that nigga feeling like he can say anything. Yeah. That's why I told you I be needing niggas to feel froggy so I can make them jump. He's Once they great, jump. <laughs> he's, a, he's a great speaker. He got real dominant energy. I, I couldn't imagine how powerful he would be with the knowledge, like. Oh yeah, that's why, that's why I look at twerk like, he, oh, you're a warrior, bro. You shot, you're not supposed to be dealing with this fuck shit. You're a warrior. And that's why they want us to believe in that, to pacify us. It's the same thing as beating the, beating the uh, man in front of the woman so she could make her children passive. And he fit it. Yo, I only got one thing to say. <clears throat> Damn, I'm mad I, I gave that nigga that work. I, I I know niggas is unemployed, but that wasn't the type of work I wanted to get. That he's I'm I'm, I'm that, giving niggas that's underqualified that, that work. That should have came. <laughs> Did that make all that kind of work with no stimulus? Hold up. Oh yeah, please. Think of the stimulus right here. Yo, I wish I would have played that shit right at the end of that shit. It, hey, we can edit the video. We can edit. Hey. It. <laughs> Yo, this is my favorite song. It's the concert after the after the bait, y'all. But you still do nigga shit. Do nigga shit. <coughs> this is my yo. Oh, where's that? Well, that's some true nigga shit. True nigga shit. Yo, y'all gotta listen to this right here. Gotta listen to the words. music video that just secretly just pops up and that's it. Just let hey. that shit just get bootlegged, man. Second verse. Oh, well, watch the second verse. I say niggas was kings. You say you run streets. You say you move and break. I say who's in this thing? See every stone in the pyramid weigh like two tons of beef. So homie, we've been moving rocks since like 2000 BC. I'm about to pay them with this. Africa and 
it put from niggas to niggas. They say I ruined my life. <laughs> that scholarship right in there. All on your back. Woo. Now ain't this a bitch. They say you made it to the top, but you still do niggas shit. Do niggas shit. Do niggas shit. Say niggas was king. Now that's some true niggas shit. Do niggas shit. Do niggas shit. Do niggas shit. The whole world wasn't trying to do niggas shit. Stop playing, man. I'm going to pull back a concert. Yo, uh, I'm in that mom CB over here, possessed like. <laughs> Yo, from niggas to niggas, you know what I love? I love the hieroglyphic Nefertiti graffiti. Them, that bar, them bars about that. How we still doing it? What we do? Jeez, Yo, I got a this whole. Answer, yo. I need that when I'm coming out to do a debate. I need that like yesterday. Hey, we That's coming my to shit. the ring. I need that shit like yesterday, bro. I love that song, man. It's so, so real. It's like I gotta work out to that shit. Yeah, I post the uh, holla at Jim Jones too. I don't wanna do this this workout regimen live. I need to be playing that shit when I when the nigga going in. We broke some records too. We did like thirty two thousand on the live. That shit was nice. Hey, and I mean, just hey, I, I want to start close. I want to start closing my shit out with that type of that energy, that momentum. Hey, that shit is dope. I, I, I got that shit for you. Hey, just so you know, we saying niggas. We saying N-E-G-U-S. We oh, not niggas. 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 niggas because it's sovereignty in uh in uh uh Ethiopia. We talking about oh, Africa. Oh. You know what oh. I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? We talking about do niggas. You know what I'm saying? We talking that talk. We ain't talking that ignorance. So just to let y'all know, the song, yeah. is out, the song unreleased, I did the song back in... Uh, shit, 2015, some shit like that. And yep. it's I will say this, man. Y'all don't even understand the blessing it is. From the time I met this brother, I was just like, yo, this nigga is like the scholar in rap. Like, he actually found a way to take information and make you want to, it feel like nigga music, but it's nigga music. You know what I'm saying? It's like, that shit feels like it's. You know when they say good food tastes bad, bad food tastes good? This that good food that you, it's so, like, you know what I'll tell you like this? When you get a Beyond Burger, and sometimes you bite that shit, and you be like, yo, hold on, this is this shit meat? Like, that's how this music is, you know what I'm saying? It's like, is this shit meat? Like, is this the nigga shit or the niggas? Is this that nigga shit or the nigga shit? Yo, that's how that music be for me, because I really can vibe to it, and I can see niggas, like, just lit. <laughs> and, and, and the thing is, you inculcate in a whole nother theme of consciousness in their mind, and it's easier to receive because you, you mastered the, the art of being received no matter what your message is. Because I know you can do the same shit if you talk the nigga shit. You know what I'm saying? But you found a way and challenged yourself to drop high science and still make a nigga want to be in a Rolls Royce. Like, Because I always play this shit when I'm moving around town. You know, when I pull up, I be always playing that shit. <clears throat> Hey, hold on. That, that's my shit, man. I love that. Hey, hey, hold on, hold on, hold on. Man, this is a good thing. <laughs> we had the people in. I'm talking to niggas. Hey, like, yo. Hey, Po, <laughs> let me play this one thing. Hey, let me play one thing, man. We talk about some science real quick. Let me break it down one time. Play one thing. I heard this one. Yeah, yeah. Look. I'm strange fruit, I'm super black, misunderstood, yeah, I'm used to that. My loud mouth and my hand gestures is a reflection of my ancestors. I'm a poor rising on a horse riding with the force behind him. I'm mad at forming in a fourth dimension to the vortex in my voice is I Original man, the intergalactic source of God, of course they would have to force the doctrine of earth, wind, fire, hydrogen, absorbing oxygen. Locking in my DNA, A and D, P S is my PSA, test me and get SAT down for that check I bag you like TSA. Sorry, but I am the final edition, the last 
last of the wisest descendants, the class of the iron, the vicious, the last of the giants existence, reliant, persistent, relentless, defiant, insistent, and gentle. <laughs> Yo, that shit is sick, bro. Hey, hey, you can say that what you shit, want. That shit is COVID-19. You don't want to start this shit. Not in China, nigga. It was in that booth. <laughs> hey, man. That shit is hard. Somebody might have leaked my shit. <sighs> That's what I'm talking about. That shit is motivational. That's that shit made me want to hit some books, do some push-ups, put the book on the floor, and push up at the same time. That shit just make you want to wild out. Hey, bro. <laughs> That shit make you. That shit make you wanna wanna sit and let your dog feed you. Like that shit just is crazy. <laughs> hey, that, bro, it's like if we was coming with this, if this how we always coming, bro, we'd be unstoppable, man. If this how we was coming as a culture, yeah, on, the right music. Come on, bro. Knowledge. No, this is, this is the shit. This is the combination that changed the world, bro. Box. Now listen, half of the artists that I ain't got no music that spread hatred amongst my brothers. I don't got no music where I'm talking about killing my brother. I don't got no music where yes. I'm talking about me fouling a woman's name or uh, degrading her, you know, referencing her as something le less than a goddess or a queen. So what you got to ask yourself is all the debate in this cool, all that shit is fine, but we could judge a man by his actions and, and the contents of his character, right? And why 80% of the young women right now that's going through things maybe might be in a strip club, right? Not to down them, not to knock their hustle, but no maybe, doubt, no maybe, doubt. They, Same maybe, way. maybe they ended up in a, in, a, in, a, in a bad position or whatever. Those people, our, our brothers just out there in the street slanging and banging and, and doing whatever they need to do to survive or, or what they know to survive, right? We, all those people I'm putting together, and I can guarantee you that 75% of them brothers and sisters is Christians. They talk. talk. I 75 agree. 75 to 80% of all the people that talk the most debauchery, the most downgrading stuff in their lyrics and their songs, not to knock them because of where they at in life, but these people that identify with Jesus Christ. Then you look at conscious brothers. You know, you look at people like Kendrick Lamar. You know, um, look at J. Cole. Look at Jay Electronica. Look at Jay-Z. <clears throat> see if they make a subscription to, to Jesus Christ. You know, see see who they talking about. See Real what, talk. why are they on a higher conscience. And you know they are. You can't front why are yeah. they on a higher conscience and why their music ain't about just ass clapping and, you know, and bitch this and bitch. Why their music don't sound like that? I'm not saying you can't get raw sometime in because life is raw than a motherfucker. I'm from the <laughs> Real raw. talk. Life Real is talk. Raw. I got raw shit, but when I talk on, like, for instance, I was talking to my boy yesterday, right? My boy, D-Boy, he from Baltimore. He a well-known Baltimore rapper. You know how I met D-Boy? I met D-Boy because I used to bring him the, I used to bring him the work in the morning. He broke the I can't. I'm going to wait till I see you. I got to see you, Paul. I got I got to see you, Poe, to talk to you. Oh, why you doing this? Everybody's asking so, me to get the music. There you go, Black Thought, Black Thought. 
you know that, and that's somebody that's that's my brother, Black Thought, be hitting me up. Um, Kanye made a song called Jesus Walks, but Kanye at one point of his life was also saying that he was a god, and then he reverted back from that from that point. And I so Kanye said a uh, 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 things that um he feels and believes in his heart, but he's uh made contradictions to himself. But I still think Kanye is an amazing artist, but I don't think Kanye is saying nothing that's really elevating us on a level like that. I just think he's an amazing art, like he's a great artist. He's an amazing at painting. Uh, hey, let me let me say this real quick. Uh some of the most recent projects that Los did was right for Usher. He wrote like three songs or something on Usher New Joint. Uh yeah. Empire. You know, he's writing all the music for Empire in their last season. Uh what uh, else? Rhythm and What's flow, the Netflix rhythm, joint you was on? Rhythm and Flow on Netflix. Um, rhythm and Flow. Yeah, Chance Wild and Out. Um I did a season of Wild and Out. Um This is recent stuff. This is not the old stuff. This is recent. This is all recent. And um I got like this music that some of the music I'm playing tonight um, you gonna hear it. It's coming out. Um, uh, I'm, I'm making a I'm, I'm making a double album called No Rain No Roses. Um, the first disc is gonna be the rain, and the second disc is gonna be the roses. And uh, it's basically gonna be a sonic journey of um, what I've been through and what I've collected, and where I'm, where I'm also trying to go. So um, it's gonna be dope. Hey, Jr. Ryder, what's up, nigga? I just saw his name there too. That's interesting. Yeah, Jr. Ryder, Jr. Ryder. Yo, shout out, shout out, Dipset, Jr. Ryder. Harlem, New York, all that. Yeah. But um, yeah, man. Um, you know, like <clears throat> my boy D boy, I was talking to him on live the other day, you know, on the phone the other day, and I was like, yo, you know what's crazy? Like D boy, he's straight from the street, he's straight from the hood, but he's a like a well known rapper from BMO. And I was just telling him, like, yo, a lot of people don't know how we met. Mind you, I took D boy on tour with me when I got on. When I got my break, I took him on tour with me. I took Jay Oliver. I took a couple other Baltimore people that made it big. Jay Oliver produced for Meek Mill. Uh, first oh, month. Oh. Like he, he's big in the industry. Uh, every, he produced for everybody. So I took a lot of them dudes with me. So I told Debo, I said, you know, it's crazy. People don't know how we met. And, um, and he was like, yeah, that's crazy. I met D-Boy because I used to bring D-Boy the dope in the morning. D-Boy was in the streets. I used to bring him the dope in the morning. That's how we met. We didn't meet off of rap music. We didn't meet off of that. But let me tell you what's significant about what I'm saying. I've I've never one time in my in my raps rapped about slinging dope. Never. I've never rapped about moving to work and having the bricks and having the clips. I've never used none of that. I've never done none of that. It ain't in my heart. When I was doing it, it felt bad. I never loved it. I loved music. And the closer I got to that lifestyle, the further I got away from my real dream. I was VIP. I was at every show, whole, I was, but I was in a fucking crowd. I wasn't on stage. I was in a crowd like a, like a VIP nigga going to see a nigga. And it ain't feel right. And I knew where my dream and where my heart was. So I made that transition to get from around that shit. And even though I was still in the midst of the projects with my niggas, I didn't touch that shit. And I pursued my dreams. So when you look at a man, you have to look at the characteristics of that man. When these Christian brothers are telling you that God got to test you with all this weird ass shit, like you got to go through a bunch of debauchery and, and a bunch of a bunch of shit to really prove your character. No, you don't, man. All you got to do is just have a righteous heart, man, and do righteous things and take a righteous walk, walk in the right direction. What's up with my baby? <laughs> so, so, so now you don't come see me no more. You ain't going to come stay tonight, huh? <laughs> all right, I'm waiting. Yeah, I'm in LA. I'm I'm waiting for you to get back so you come stay with me, cause I don't like this. You gotta stay with me. Like, <laughs> yeah, get a sleepover. Yeah, you gotta do no sleepover. Oh, what? Where Bricks at? Now? He's sleeping. <laughs> yes, he's probably on the video game. Yo, Bricks. <laughs> let me let you say hi to Bricks. Bricks. <laughs> hey, remember? Hey, you used to watch Bricks when he was a baby. <laughs> Close here. Yeah. Yeah. He's big now. He almost bigger than you. Come here, Bricks. <laughs> hey, Bricks going Bricks getting tall. Come here, man. Hi, Rex thing. <laughs> this dude, bro. Yeah, what's up, man? 
Eric What's up, wild scientist? <laughs> you remember you jumped in the jacuzzi at Pole House and going recently going for the ball and your whole body went in the water? That was funny as heck, <laughs> man. <laughs> Yo, he jumped in after the ball. His whole body went in. The whole body was wet. Y'all was just like, man, just that's just so close. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, what's up, Briggs? You going when you gonna pull back up? I'm not going back to LA to we make an appointment for you to come to our crib first. <laughs> you gonna come? You gonna go? I was when you came, when you coming out here? Or you stand down there? You coming back? Oh, I'm definitely coming back. What happened was when this Corona thing was going on, the weather's so Caribbean like out here. I just stayed here because of the energy, because it of makes, the heat. It makes sense. I would yeah. I would do the same thing. It was I just the vibe. I, I'm a, I'm gonna be down that way soon anyway. I got some events and some stuff coming up too. Please let me know so I don't be leaving when you coming because I'm, I'm about to. I'm here for like another week because the girl's grandmother is out here, so yeah. it just Yo, works out. How tall this kid is, bro? I know it's, it's going down. Then he got the basketball shirt on. Might be a hint. Might be trying to dunk on something. <laughs> Can I tell them something? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, we definitely got them in the nighttime. Y'all on your night vibes. Something. It's going on with my head for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> Other people can hear it, but it, it's like a, sto a storm sound. It's like a storm sound. Hey, I'm in that. I can, I can make in my head. You can make a storm sound in your head? Yeah. Uh-oh, you got superpowers. But I can, I can only hear it. But I know, because you got superpowers. You're a Pisces. <laughs> Let me get back to with Good night, Brixton. All right, love. I love. Yeah, Good night. man. <laughs> that stuff gets crazy. And then <laughs> we, raised our children, <clears throat> we raised our children under that stuff, and we wonder why they subjected to jail and murder and like. Yeah. Yo, you like, can see it. Just dealing with religion when a man can't answer the same question for 20 minutes. It's like, yo, I would be embarrassed. Let me just, okay, bro, just, just show me something. Show me what's going on. I'm not going to do this with a camera on for thousands. You know thousands. You know this is going to be over 10,000 tomorrow. We all know this, okay? It's going to be over 10,000 when we're done. We all know this. That's way too much people. One person is too many for me. I'm not about to have 10,000 people see me being reckless like that. That's crazy. Yeah, man, it's beyond, it's beyond crazy, man, when somebody going to sit up there and preach to you something, and it's like, man, you and can't... And say, yo, you want to look up the words? Is that what y'all into? Because I'm, I'm trying to build. I'm <laughs> like, yo, bro, y'all literally call it the word. Bro, that's <laughs> exactly the point of building is to look up the words, reference the sources, and... Yeah, if there's a point of contention. How are we going to solve the problem? And it's this they don't want to do no scholarship. That, you know, that's why it's funny to me because Christians don't usually debate. They, 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 I saw one brother say what it said. Christians usually say that if you're not a believer, then you can't understand. That way I don't ever have to debate you. So, so every now and then you get a frog, a leap frog too. Yeah, man. I, I hope that other still go down with you and them cats in Brooklyn, man, because I need to see that. Man, he, he want to do it online. I'm like, I want to do it in person. So I said, yo, maybe we could do a weigh-in online, do a electronic weigh-in so we could just get some work out there and play. But I, I, I'm here, like, I'm holding out because I, I miss being on the big stage. And this time around, yo, I was part of, the, part of the struggle. I was coming up. I was climbing. But right now, I go back on that stage. It's straight special effects. <laughs> Oh, crazy smoke. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I would have so much fun because I'm, I'm out the most happiest when I'm on stage. You coming I'm out? Like a <clears throat> you coming out like a wrestler? Yo, you already know. Introduce <laughs> it. the ninety plus books. I already got my man that does all that. Yo, the lights going. It's like Jordan coming out <laughs> the bulls. Got hit one of these and spit out the green juice like. <laughs> They all out here, do nigga shit. Do nigga shit. And we in the church and everybody go, what? <laughs> I can just feel the vibe. 
Yo, he got smoke coming out. <laughs> Yo, these are like that's why my I next time on the stage is just is the thing about it. Cause why? Like I'm just now re-releasing my books. I got some new ones revising. <laughs> it's crazy. I just I got literally tomorrow the site should be up, um, uh, and and the app. But it's like that's my passion to write and to to teach to share what I wrote. You know, so I'm doing presentations on my books, doing PowerPoints for my books. People are like, yo, you can't be doing a whole presentation on what you wrote. I'm like, I don't get to do presentations on what other people wrote. Like, y'all niggas is crazy. I'm not doing that. So I'm doing my shit because I agree with me a, th a thousand percent. So I'm going to just reference me. So I ain't got no discrepancies on page 65 somewhere. Right. So my thing is, I know where I'm the most happy. I'm happy when I'm doing my lectures on stage and I'm happy when I'm doing those debates. Because I have my wives, got my children, my I got my personal assistants, everybody's women, 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 right? So four daughters, right? So all I'm around is women, right? So when I get a chance to do a debate, I actually get to curse, be vulgar, be aggressive. I can turn up because all day when someone says daddy, that shit desynthesizes me. And it demands and warrants no aggression whatsoever, <laughs> right? And then when I have to be the husband several times over, it demands no aggression. <laughs> it's not a cipher, right? <laughs> so then my personal assistant, it just, it's just when I get a chance to put on the vest, there's a threat. The Muslims say they're going to kill me if I do this debate. And then I got I to have 30, 40, 50 guards with me. They got arms, they arms, they got guns. And I walked in, I see people just feeling proud. We in uniform, and they like, yo, this nigga like this show up after all the threats. And I see my opponent, and I outnumber him, and he was supposed to be a general, or he's supposed to be a captain. Like, all these niggas that got these titles, right? But when I pull up, I look like the damn general, and I look like the captain, because people got to understand, the way you win these debates, the debate for me always starts before we even get through the door. The debate for me started before he even knew I was going to deal with him in the debate. I'm already in a different space. So I missed that moment so much. First, I was good. I'm like, man, uh, yo, people wilding. They, they downloading PDFs, and I'm literally flying to Egypt and flying to Israel and flying to Ethiopia to prove the point. I'm like, yo, I got tired. I got bored. I'm like, yo, cats ain't even stepping their shit up. I'm out of here. Then I got the Jews flying from overseas, like, yo, coming from Israel. I'm like, yeah, I'm, I'm going to do that debate. So when I got this pasta, uh, Damon, and we had the mega church holding over 3,500 people. You know what I'm saying? They got the ATMs and everything. And I got Chris Broussard, who be on ESPN setting it up because he, he, he on his Christian shit. Shout out to him. I love him as a brother. But, you know, Chris Broussard is like, yo, <laughs> he, they got a thing against the conscious community with our, with our uh, anti-Christian rhetoric and uh, our, our sentiment that we feel the white man got his hands all in it. So he helped set up the debate. You know what I'm saying? The sports analysis uh, and sports analyst, uh, Chris Boussard, because he got that black Christian group thing that he'd be in and all that. So I said, oh, man, it was just something that I'm like, now nah, this demands my attention. I'm with this shit. I want the smoke because now it's going to be a grand door. And so that would be more befitting for me to come back out because it wouldn't be a, a brother who's just clout chasing. He ain't going to even put the energy towards research. Got no fan base, got nothing. All, all I'm going to do is donate an audience and money to him. So I'm like, that's trash. So this, man, bro, this coronavirus had hit. We were slated for, I think, uh, end of July. Yeah, we slated for July because I was planning to have the after party in Vegas, you know, fucking with Floyd. I already had a whole tour designed for this shit. I was already in the moment. I was already banging. Pulling up shit. I was already at Summer Jam. Like, watch this in the church. The fact that the church was allowing me to do debate in the church, bro, <clears throat> trust me when I tell you. The fact that the church was allowing me to be in the church to do the debate, that level of, I'm in my home court because I'm in Brooklyn, but I'm away because it's the church. So that's like the Brooklyn Nets versus the New York Knicks. Yo, yo, you know Paul. This nigga said he got proof of Jesus' existence. Come on, nigga. Stop it. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. 
enemies of the Jews. <laughs> Don't be trolling after hours, people. Stop it. Yeah, he said, Annals of Imperial Rome, Thales, and he, he, I, I don't know. He said, he said, Adam, he said, Adam, let's, let's, let's debate about it. I I'll know. see you tomorrow with that. <laughs> I, can't do, I can only do but so much two days in a row with that. It starts making me feel weird. I might start bumping into walls on purpose. You know what I'm saying? But back, back to coming back out, being on that damn mic, and, and then the thing is, when you hear when you hear the first, that's right, brother. Or go ahead, black man. Or you know, when you hear <coughs> teach, when you hear them say that, you just keep building momentum. And then when you know you hit him with that slider, you look at his damn face and you just see him debilitated. And he look at you, you look at me. I look at him, he look at me. I look at the crowd, and the crowd don't know what I just seen in his eyes. I know what the fuck just happened. And I know the rest of this shit is done. It's something you know when you're in that space. I love the kill. I love hey, the kill. Like, yo. The scientific, word, the scientific word for what you see in his eyes is, um, it's, it's, I think it's a Latin word called biatch. <laughs> <laughs> yo, you had me hooked. I'm like, what, what word is this shit? <laughs> It derives from from the Greek word bitchabus. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch <ass. laughs> Yo, oh. that shit is the best vibe when I be like, well, I know this nigga's gonna, oh, well, when I go up there, I gotta show the crowd a face that looks like I'm, I'm confident. But I make eye contact and I look. I do it every debate because I do something for my wife. So every debate, I give her a look and she knows. Oh, all right. Polite about to go in for the fucking kill. Every debate, like when I'm on stage, I go and I take a look at it like, yep, I see it in this nigga's eyes. He's he's trying to figure out how do I salvage or save face after this. And at that point, that's when they normally start cursing me out, calling me names, calling me all sorts of shit. That's the only way it gets to that because there ain't nothing left. And, it, you know, everybody think they ready for that moment. But I'm going to tell you, I think everybody I've ever dealt with with the exception of the white man, <clears throat> the pale Jew that I debated, he, he, he left before the last round. But, that, but yeah, exactly. so everybody shrinks at the moment. They think they want that moment. They watch it, and they go, oh. But when you're in front of over a 1,000 people, first of all, all them cats that be debating never debate in front of over a 1,000 people unless you're debating me. It's just a fact. So when you get a chance, and then when the views go out, and it goes over a million, or you got hundreds of thousands of people calling you an idiot. You be mad at me for the rest of your life, like I'm controlling that. Nah, that's something you contributed to. I, <laughs> I didn't do that shit to you, nigga. You contributed. You contributed by believing in that shit you did, and and thinking it was a walk in the park because you think because I disagree with you that I'm stupid. Just the mere fact that I disagree with you, you thought I was stupid. Meanwhile, I'm training for you on every level. <clears throat> that's why I said, son. Oh, that that just that just happened because of the stuff I'll be doing when on my private time when I'm studying and everything. But I'm gonna tell you, I prepared for cash like they the like they the one who made the Bible. And then I won't probably deal with them on that level because they're not on that level. But whatever they bring, that's that's where I'm at, and I just make sure I stay above that. You know, it's it's just fun. It's some fun shit. And then like when you hear somebody say, "Yo, it's not, it's." <clears throat> You talking like it's burning. No, it's burnt. It says burnt. Then I'm like, woo. That's that stuff that happens. But I'm like, yo, you know what? If you really want to believe, if you want to get spooky, if you really want to believe in higher forces manipulating events, you have to know if you watch enough of my debates. I almost got the damn spirit and ancestors on my side because niggas be giving me shit that I, I be like, yo, what's the odds he would say that? The verse is right here. Like, I wasn't even going to make a point of that because it wasn't even relevant to make a point of that. I was just going to show you when the shit is burnt, boom. But then you say, it's not actually burning. It's already burnt, so when it cools off, it's dark. I'm like, they do this every debate. I hear something, and it's magical because I'm like, yo, bro, it's a good thing I just be here quiet and let these niggas talk they talk so I can... <laughs> yep. I think yo, those rebuttals? Yo, son, the rebuttals can fucking kill... Yo, one thing you got to know is don't talk too much if you're not sure what you're talking about because a, a rebuttal can fucking kill your whole shit. Yeah, see that? And that's the point right there because I find it so humorous that 
these these cats profess to be such cunning linguists. Like, it's like, bruh, you gonna get out fox trying to be so foxy, bruh. Like your best bet <laughs> is to is to just just stick let, to what you do, bro. Yeah, like keep it natural because all the like I don't, I don't know how, how it would be, but when cats think they got the one up on you, like linguistically, like like I'm about to say some shit that's about to stun polite, and then they say it like, yeah, because I hit you with that. I I, I cooked you. It's it's like, bro, why? <laughs> like, like where, where was like, you at this whole time? Like, yeah, Yo, where? I be sitting, I be sitting here like this. I this the symptoms. The second I hear a person reaffirming how much they know what they know and how much they've been studying what they study and how much I don't know what I know, I know they're attempting to convince themselves. When I hear somebody start that stuff, no, I, I've been studying this. I study this. I study this. I, I can tell what's going on because that shit is just some weird shit that happens where you're asking yourself, if I study this so much, why does it feel like this right now at this present moment? But, and you know, and even worse, I know when they review the video, that's when it becomes hatred. Sure. When you review the video, you got to see yourself not Yo, answering. Yo, nigga. so is it red white? His feet burn like brass. Is it burn like brass? And then you watch the whole video and realize this nigga sat here knowing he could have killed me early. And what he did, he stuck the knife in me and he turned it slowly. Like, you got to watch it back and realize this nigga polite played around with this nigga and made it almost, I almost started to think this nigga didn't have an answer for this shit. What, what about <laughs> What about what about the correlation that he made to his God when he used <laughs> when he used the analogy? He said, "See, Jesus is like a woman that you like." Yo, but, what was that? But, but Yo, you know, that was another thing I, I had ready, bro. But, but, but I've been sleep, but I've been sleeping with her, and I know her. Why would you make that correlation between what? What is that? And you you just looking at her on the outside. And I'm like, yo, whoa. Like, why yo, would you? You just why? turn a man into a woman? Now, when, when, when would it ever be permissible to hypothetically make your male friend a woman that you're sleeping with? When would it be hypothetical to make your father include him in an analogy and make him a woman that you're sleeping with? That's it. The male guy you're talking to is looking at him just based on his physical body. He also <laughs> said it right after that, that he knows that he knows Jesus intimately. Yo, it's just you. See, yo, and what other? And what other? And what other? And what other? Um, I gotta review it now. <laughs> and, yeah, I'm thinking about all this shit now. Where, where, where? In what other place would you preference uh, a man? Your, a, a relationship with another man is intimate. That was kind of somebody said he's psychotic for that. <laughs> yo. You go crazy with it. That's what I said. When you review the tapes, you start hearing and seeing even but more. You, know, rap, you know, I'm the rap nigga, so I got all this shit on rebuttal mode. Like these are the <laughs> shit that on that, 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 that second round. I got all this shit cooked up. I got all it. Like yo, bro, I literally, I on everything. I literally be cooking up bars when I be watching this shit, and I be saying like, I need to battle rap these niggas. Like now, yep. this is the I'm reason I can that. battle rap. Yeah. Now, this is the reason I could battle rap niggas because now we got something. We got something. I just turned down like five battles. <laughs> but this is something that we could go off of because if you believe in that, and, and I don't, and I, that's something that we could cook up. Yeah, because you invested in that. I can see that. I can see that. Because that's, that's, that's why my brother Sai and, you know, the people of his channel, some of the people, they would, oh, you scared to debate this one. You scared? I'm like, man. I, you can't. I'm not a child. You can't play that game with me. Oh, you're scared of that, that they make this. I'm like, nah. It's the fact that I, I'm. If I'm dealing with people that's coming from Israel to come into town, if I'm dealing with pastors and mega churches and everything, and yo, I'm not dealing with son. What he need to do, <clears throat> he need to build himself up, and that's not being condescending. That's actually encouraging, bro. Build your shit up. So at the the bulk of the promotion, the marketing, the bag ain't all on me. Just because a brother got a strong overhand right in Brownsville don't mean he should have the right to fight Floyd Mayweather just because he's in the hood knocking niggas out. So it's the same thing when I say, like, yo, I hear he's beating up people in the streets. That's nice, but that ain't got nothing to do with me. Like, I wouldn't even know if you didn't tell me he was doing that. 
So the fact that I don't even know what the hell he's doing, yo, let him build his shit up like I had to. Let him go through and let the people say, yo, I want to see him do this with that one. Let the people do that. That's when it's fun. And you know, people do the same thing to battle rappers. They do the same thing to a lot of people in different genres and boxing. And I won't be swayed by it because I work too hard to go backwards. So like when you say Los, when somebody be like, yo, why don't you battle this one? Why don't you battle that, battle that one? I get it. A man of your prestige, I'll say it for you respectfully because when you say it or if you say it, it may come off too condescending or like you fool yourself. You, you got a body of work, your catalog. <clears throat> their catalog pales in comparison to your catalog. So if you did do something, it would literally be a donation. That's how I feel. And I be saying that shit to niggas. Yo, who let you in the... We let you back in the community. Nigga, excuse me, where's the door? I got 18... Now, minutes. are you letting niggas out? You let me in? Like, where's this fucking imaginary door you niggas was talking about? I got eight, <laughs> 18 bodies of work. Out. Currently. I got 18 bodies of work complete already out. So if you, if you decide to do something in battle rap, it almost diminishes what you've accomplished if you take on anyone. You know, and then and if you do a donation... Well, well I, got you I got the most risk. I got the most at risk. I, <laughs> I got the most at risk. Yeah. I'm, I'm coming in with the most at stake because in my, in my world, it's not like the battle world. In the battle world, you can lose continuously over and over and over and over and still get welcomed back. In the hip-hop world, once you lose, you're a dub. Now, now, now you're in purgatory. You neither could go there or here. It's over with. Like, they would say you're a celebrity and we don't want your ass there. They would say over here. You know, and, and it's kind of rigged because honestly, I I know if you unless you battle another person that's considered a celeb, honestly, niggas gonna say you lost because niggas like the underdog. They don't like the people that's more successful. The underdog is generally the person that's not successful. I'm gonna show you how this works. <clears throat> This is debatable, of course. But when we see a certain level of consistency, we got to concede. We can look at Nas and Jay-Z. Do they battle? And of course, you have people that say Nas won, and it's understandable. We can get that. I get it. But let's just watch. We saw what Jay was compared to Nas. Now we can see Cameron and Mace, right? We go over there, Cameron and Mace. And you look at that, <clears throat> they say Mace won, right? But we, we can understand that. But Cam, Cam was working on his, his shoes, movies, all sorts of shit. So he didn't really deviate from what he was doing at the time to deal with it. And then when he did do something, he's doing what he's doing. So anyway, Mace was down here, but they said he won. Remy Ma and Nicki Minaj. They automatically said she won before Nicki could even say anything back. Oh, no, she didn't do nothing. It's, it's done. So what I'm saying is a lot of times, oh, Loaded Lux and, and Mook. At the time, Loaded was the man. And I said, yo, Loaded, yo, I'm telling you. This shit is rigged. No one likes the fact that you're living better because when you live better, they say they want the old you. You know why? Because they can connect with the old you because they don't elevate to say, I want to connect with the new shit you're doing. They say, I want you to remain where we at, where we can understand you. They don't look to you for guidance or inspiration. They, they want your ass down there where they're comfortable. So now watch this. He went against Mook. Not to say Mook didn't win. I'm just saying, I knew. I, I said it already. I said it in my house. Everybody know. I said, yo, Mook going to get that. It's just not going to work no matter how you look at it because niggas don't like the person being more successful at that time. Not to say that Mook wasn't doing shit that we... It's, Mook could be doing a bunch of shit we don't know. But as, as far as the optics is concerned, Loaded was the man on battle level. Guess what? Mook took it, right? So then when Mook took it and he had to go against Averb, I told niggas, they going to say Mook lost because Mook is the man now. And, the, and that culture don't like to see niggas being a man win. So I'm like, he already lost before he walked in. <clears throat> so the, one of the worst things Loaded did was come in with Gucci and everything. He, he should have did the gray hoodie because the gray hoodie looked like the nigga that's struggling, running up and down the stairs like Rocky trying to get out the hood. Right. You, got, you, got to, you got to go gray hoodie on that ass right. when you're on that high level. Right. You know what I'm saying? So that's, that's just that's what it is. Niggas don't like a successful man. So if you were to go in there, Los, you have to go against a nigga that semi or does got some kind of celebrity accolades <clears throat> or some kind of body of work where it can be judged fair because the second you start being brilliant, 
niggas is already mad because now you're brilliant and you're successful. Fuck out of here, yo, culture vultures because you're doing good. So now this is only for poor people. Excuse me, niggas is making 40 grand now, 50 grand. This shit is only for poor people. They told now, me I was If you're successful, it. you can't rap no more because you're successful. What the fuck I, is that? The, the crazy <clears throat> thing they did, right? I don't, I don't, get, I don't like that shit. I don't get the psychosis of this. The craziest thing they did was tell me that if I rap on an elevated level, that I won't be received, I won't be felt. So I got to I gotta transition my style to make it fit battle rap. Like, literally, they told me that, like, if you come in here with lyrical, miracle, empirical, spiritual, like, if that's how you come in, then you might as well forget it because you're going to get flamed off. So I'm like, so you telling me that I have to minimize my lyrical? Well, you do yeah, but, but to be received in a, in a room. So when I, out, I purposely gave my first round away and did it the way I, I thought it was. It was still for daylight. Uh, it was still for daylight, and if you that, go back, that, and see, right I can right see right. you in. I can see you in daylight because daylight is, a, daylight is a fucking genius. Yeah, daylight is. A, yo, his wordplay is. In, I was, I was looking I for the words for a living. Bro, that nigga is, words is his. The way his brain works with words is dope. It's 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 unlike no other. For, for, first of all, first of all, you can't study for daylight. You can't study. Not, I'm talking about daylight in his in his highest form. Yeah, yeah. You, you can't study for him. There's no telling how his approach is going to be. His style is impregnable. Okay, I mean his defense is impregnable. His style is impetuous. Okay, so um, uh, I was looking forward to daylight pushing me. That was been what I was dope. looking, for. and I knew that's, I was that's a nigga in the battle rap world. He told a, me in a prime. Yo, they, they yeah. like don't even fear Lux. None of them niggas. They like literally told me like, yo, bro, you the nigga that that not fear, but you the nigga that's gonna push me to get on my shit. So I was looking at that like this going my first battle on Some a main history game, shit. The Your first and their last one, like we in and out of here. Yeah, epic. epic. That been, yo, epic. I wanted that shit. I wanted that one. When I was talking to him, I was telling him like I don't even have the energy to go against my brother now. Yeah. We just too much alike. And I feel like I be killing part of myself. Or even if I lose, I'm still killing part of myself. So I be killing part of myself going out there and first, first <laughs> and, yeah. and, and what he got going on when we the same type and we need to stick together because it's it's other niggas who believe in all this this psycho shit. It's psycho shit. Yeah, because Daylight was on yesterday when you left. He got on. He was calling me when we was on. Right. And then he got on after Twerk got on. Yeah. And I was like, damn, this shit was kind of like a battle rap joint. <laughs> like battle rappers and the artists talking about the religion is dope. And that's 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 the beauty of what I've been able to accomplish through to be able to connect with our good brothers and sisters in, in, in those realms, in those pockets. I think that's just powerful. But yeah, man, I, I don't like I don't like the double standards, but I know they exist and it exists everywhere. No one likes the person who's succeeding. <clears throat> so even when I do what I gotta do, I know I study the psychology behind what must be done so I don't fall into those traps. <clears throat> you know, so I pick my opponents. So what I'm not about to do is pick a nigga that I'm going to debate that the demographic is going to be like, yo, we won't find the win, not because he tells the truth, but because we would just like to see someone knock this nigga off his throat. Nah, nigga, let me get somebody who really get busy with the information. Let me get that person. Not just no nigga shit. And, and yo, I got to reduce myself to being over here again with these people now. And yo, y'all come up with me. Look how I'm doing it bigger now. We doing we doing thirty five hundred seats now. You know what I'm saying? We we leaving from twelve hundred. We going to thirty five hundred on a comeback. <clears throat> let me do it like that, and let that be so exciting that you love what I'm doing to add value to the culture. That you'd be like, you know what? I'm gonna just listen to the debate now. So I could just disarm you from all of that nigga shit and biasness. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? Let's create something of uh, uh, so so much grandeur that. You just be like, man, you just be in awe at the opportunity for us to relish in the fact that the culture is in a forward-going momentum. 
You know, so let's do it bigger than we did it before. So that's why I said, when I was about to go on stage, bro, I'm, like, I'm about to go on stage. I'm like, nah, bro, I'm about to do something. It was going to be a bunch of special effects and everything because I love the culture so much. I spend the bread just to just to create that so we could be proud, so we could take our pictures. We're in a, we a video-heavy era. Let people be able to just catch everything that's going on. This is the type of vibe I'm on. Bring the rappers out. You know, I'm from Brooklyn. I'm going to have the homies out. You know what I'm saying? It's just, it was just, I'm like, man, this coronavirus, bro. God damn. I, you know, it, it's not even because of the bread, bro. A lot of bread was going to be made, of course. Cause, you know, I'm not taking the bout unless the money makes sense. You know, so either I'm producing or they pay. And, and for an event like that, can't nobody pay me for an event of that magnitude. I have to be producing. And so as we worked all that stuff out, I'm like, yo, well, you got me. Sign me up. I'm I'm in there. Put me in the game, coach. I'm rocking. And I'm just like, yo, but what I'm going to do, my give back is crazy. I was supposed to open up a store right in the hood. And inside of two weeks from the time of the debate, I stay in Brooklyn until the stores open. I had announced all that shit. Like, yo, I'm taking the bread. I'm opening up a store down the block. <clears throat> I'm opening up the store right in the hood. Boom, where I'm from. You know what I'm saying? In the 90s. And in, in, in the nine ounce. Free to nine, free to nine. So I, I'm, I'm like, I just had some dope stuff all around that stuff that I wanted to do. Have the homies come out. Because, you know, when I go back home, so much people is proud of me for teaching and watching everything that when I go home, it's like I'm, I'm a fucking hero. I go everywhere around this world, I get support. But when I go to Brooklyn or Harlem, I get that Malcolm X love. I get that, yo, you want some free food, my brother? Yo, can I give you a free drink? <clears throat> yo, you need anything? My, yo, get a haircut. Get a cut for me. Can I, get a, can I put your picture on the wall? I promise you. Bean podcast makes this. No matter how much I be going in, <clears throat> when I come in the hood, Yo, we remember when you was out here on the streets selling your flyer for a dollar. You know what I'm saying? Like, they know me. So when I come back, I'm like, I just want to do something powerful for my people, man, and my community. It was, it's, it's just so exciting, man, that I'm like, dang, man. I just feel like the timing. I feel like this coronavirus, for some weird reason, you know, obviously, no matter when something like this happens, it's not the most opportune time. But I just feel like with this coronavirus, a lot of people had something powerful about to pop up. <laughs> I feel like it was some kind of witchcraft. So I feel like, yo, a lot of people just got signed. I know Daylight was like, yo, son, I just got signed. They put bank out. I spent the bank. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And <laughs> Remember, Daylight was like, yo. <clears throat> okay. Right now, that's what they asking for. We'll we talk to the graphic designer tomorrow. Okay? I'm going to send him a text tonight. There you go. Yeah. So, you know, I just feel like a lot of people had the come up about to happen. It was right there. And then everyone, the, the thing you can never imagine, no one come out the house, please. Like, yo, excuse me? No one's touring no more? You mean, like, I, I can't do my comeback and get on stage? And do my thing and the smoke and everything I had planned. <laughs> I'm like, yo, bro. Right. Say they so. And then when I talked to other people, like I said, I talked to Day and Day was like, son, I just got signed. Bought a car. I'm running through that bread because we're going on tour. I'm, the shit is rolled out. Nigga, now we can't come out the fucking house. <laughs> then I talked to another nigga. I talked to the mad niggas in the industry. They like, yo, son, the bread is made from the concert, son. The tour is canceled. And then niggas was thinking this was a one-month play, a three-month play. Now niggas talking about it ain't going to really be real until next year. And by the time it get real and we get to really move around, we're going to have to tuck tail again because this shit is going to be the season for it to come back. So niggas is looking like we ain't going to see the regular world again. We're not seeing the regular world again probably to like four years. That's how shit's <laughs> This is wild. Closest in the fourth quarter and 2K down by one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think it's just funny. <laughs> no, I'm I'm about to win. Hey, they, that nigga said Los got two brains. He can focus on 34 things. <laughs> Man, we could throw some words in that nigga. I would not be surprised if he was rapping that shit while he played the game. <laughs> no hands. I'm finished. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, 2022, right? They, they ain't lighting up on us, man. We got to hey. learn how to, how to deal with this shit right here. Hey, man, do you be seeing how this shit be titled when it hit YouTube? Like what? The, the COVID joint? No, 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 no. Any lives we do. So every time we do lives, and I know particularly when I'm involved in a live or I put, or I, it's always on YouTube. So somebody be uploading every live that I'm in, right? It be, it be the title, it be worded crazy. So like this joint will probably be worded like brother polite destroys uh, Christian and uh, King Los uh, performs live. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm telling yo. you, it's I'm, it's it, it, yo, it's gonna be up soon as we get off of here. Give it about a couple hours. It's gonna be uploaded onto YouTube. Just search it, bro. <laughs> Everything we do be on YouTube, bro. Like yo, that's wild. my crib when um I was freestyling, you was throwing the words. That shit is all over YouTube, bro. Like them shits be all over the tube, man. That's wild. Yeah. What you got that yeah. that mango? Yeah, I know. I had a Haitian mango the other day. That was that was it, bro. I've been needing that Haitian mango. That's my favorite one. But these gotta do. My wife be cooking the Mexican mango, curry in it. Wow. Putting the um she put the season, putting the season on it. Yup, and cooking it like <laughs> like it's flesh, like cooking that joint, curry in it, and mixing it in with the rice and everything. It's an amazing experience. I ain't gonna lie to you. Guyanese, white. Fucking knee hurt. They say you ain't realize you just acknowledge Satan. No, no. People gotta let it go, man. Y'all gotta let it go. Let it go. Hey, Not do y'all do y'all niggas know that? Do y'all niggas know that we don't even believe in no motherfucking Satan? <laughs> like that shit be crazy as shit when they always try to put devil worship or they probably put some weird shit. Like nigga, we don't believe in that shit, nigga. <laughs> Nigga, that shit just as fairy tale as all the rest of the shit. That's a fact. And and, and by y'all giving reverence to Satan, you know, it it, it 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 only makes you a believer in him. You believe in the devil. Believe in that nigga. You and you if, believe him. And by you, believe him. you by praise Christmas. the devil. You know, people Christians don't realize that they actually praise the devil. Because anytime you say, Well, Satan did that, you're giving him praise. You're literally giving him praise. It was the devil. You're giving that nigga praise. Not to mention he used to hang out in heaven. That's weird. Very weird. And my, my brother Twerk Logic, he's definitely in Christianity, nigga. So we're safe. We're in the, we're, he's we're only in Christianity. <laughs> he's only in Christianity. You know, he don't mess with everybody else because they're already on the path. Yo said, right, why even bother? God said, why bother? He don't possess Muslims and Jews. He only get the Christians possessed because they really about that life. So we ain't got nothing to do with the devil by that logic. We, we could be out nothing. in the building. And he ain't got, got nothing to do with, and he ain't got nothing to do with us. We good. We'd be doing the worst crimes on planet Earth. But because we're not Christian, ain't no demons possessing us doing that. Man. You guys are so blessed that you get to have the demons exclusively to yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, it's some wild stuff y'all be living. I, I tell you what though, before I changed my diet and became holistic, a holistic vegan, yeah, I had them demons in me for sure. Cause when I when I did my detox cleanse and I got them sabi herbs, nigga, them demons came up out of me. I don't give a fuck what nobody say. You are possessed by the food you eat. You are possessed because you put in dead. You know, if you yeah, want to spirit too, or man. energy or frequencies, you putting that dead shit in your body. So if if all that dead shit is so evil, why you eat dead shit every day? Real talk. I don't, I don't get it. If death and the dead and the, if all that is evil and or darkness or the devil, why do you <clears> eat <throat> dead things every fucking day? And that's why you, you can't even function. You ain't got the you ain't even neurologically charged up around this motherfucker. You niggas is brain dead. People say the stupidest stuff. <laughs> Being vegan is a high sugar diet. No, eating things high in sugar is a high sugar diet. Right. <laughs> nigga, not, nigga, damn near not being a vegan is, is a high sugar diet because if you ain't vegan, 
chances are you eating a bunch of a bunch of retarded ass shit that shouldn't even be in your body in the first place. Real we talk. Get, we get natural sugars. If you're talking about fruit, that it it, it doesn't even assimilate in the body the same way as some Fact. fucking bleached ass sugar that you put in your body. Some refined fucking bleached bullshit, bruh. <laughs> Bro, y'all niggas. First of all, y'all niggas ain't study biochemistry. Y'all ain't study. Y'all ain't study nothing. You ain't study pathology. Nothing. How can you even speak on this shit? You don't know shit. Real talk. And I biology. eat the skin. I'm eating the skin because it, the skin is always packed with the most nutrients. So whatever you eating the fruit for, when you throw away the skin, you actually throwing away what you bought the fruit for in the first place. So Yo. I got so, I got so used to it. I just. I eat it like apple. Yo, when you eat fruit, you eat eternity, brother. Okay? Because you're talking about something that possesses the ability to recreate itself from within itself, man. A fruit has the seed inside of itself, and the seed has the entire fruit inside of it, man. Y'all, y'all sleep, sleep, man. Yo. <laughs> sleep, sleep. <laughs> a fruit so a fruit fall from the tree, fall to the earth. Go back into the earth, the seed come back out as a whole nother fruit, bruh. Come on, man. Come on, man. Why wouldn't you want to eat that? That's eternal life. Why wouldn't you want to eat that? Why would you want to eat something that died? You know what I'm saying? A, a, a lot of the females. You know what I'm saying? Y'all got to understand, y'all bodies operate off fluids. You know, when you get to talking about, you know, your, 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 your lady parts, and you got all these fluids and juices and stuff that you made out of, why would you want to put something dead inside you? What that, what that, what's that going to turn into? Come on, think about it. Think about it. Think about feminine hygiene. Think about all that from yeast infection, all those things that happen with women, and you're putting dead things inside of your body. And you have the most sacred body out of a man and a woman. Your body is the most sacred because you are the portal of life. Right? So, yeah. so if you're a woman and you have all that going on with you when it comes to your hygiene femininity, why would you want to put something dead inside you? What you trying to smell like? Is it fruitful down there? Is it a fruitful river? Like for real? Like we need it. This is the, can we have this? This is me and your bill for next time, Poe. Yo, let's really get it. Let's really get it. Real, I'm real, with that. You know, like I got, I got, I got six years. This is, like, that's what I'm putting look like like come on like look at my come on man what you don't see my glow my glow crazy you know, what I'm, glow. You know what I'm saying the glow that's is crazy. You, you know what I'm saying we live in that glow life man glowy so it's like come don't on make <laughs> are you a female then what type of baby are you trying to produce and then what type of cognitive abilities are you even trying to hinder or promote in your child mm. due to, you know what I'm saying? Because I was talking about this the other day with my boy Stokey. He was running for mayor in Baltimore. And he was like, you know, what's some of the things? I said, man, we need to get back to like arranged marriages or something because I agree. We, we, we need, like my son been vegan since he was one years old, okay? We came into the knowledge around that time. He's seven now. So he's virtually never really ever had meat because when we did try to give him meat, he would always spit it out. He never liked it as a as a baby. It was his choice to be vegan. We yes. forced it on him because we thought the doctors told us that feed him as much as you can. Uh, a fat baby is a healthy baby. That's a happy baby. That's what they told us. So we didn't know no better. So what I was telling Stokey is we have to procreate <laughs> from an aspect of what are we trying to develop? Like we can't raise our kids and hope they turn out okay. We have yeah. to, we have to, pre, we have to set up. We have to take precautionary measures at this point that we're not producing no trash out here. Real talk. That's a real that's talk. A, look where we at right now, and you can uh, 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 um 
you know what I mean, expand uh, upon that, uh, Paul, you can really go break that down because that's what we're not doing. You know what I'm saying? We having pointless children. You, 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 yep, so. doctor, you wasn't even feeling like that. And now the baby got to be suffer the results of because y'all don't even rock like that. And you wonder why we so fucked up. You know right, what I'm saying? Right, right, right now, right. Ain't white people doing that. All right? White people is choosing their partner by the the one who inherited the company with the other one who was a lawyer. And they don't, if you look at white people, they don't even match. The, yeah. They don't yeah. match. They, they don't look, oh, they look fly. We always trying to look fly together, match. They don't match. They don't match. But they, they match up when it comes to economically, you know what I'm saying, socially, where it makes sense at. Because once once they have their four or five babies, they're going to have them real fast. The, the white woman going to have her babies back to back to back. And then yeah. being a housewife and raising her kids and the father going to create the living, but they already going to have money established previously from their parents from inheritance or some form of something they got from the generations before them. So how are we having babies piss fucking poor with nothing? We got nothing to offer. We have not established a single thing. And not only that, then we give our kids the white man's indoctrination, his diet. I mean, what are we trying to create? What are we trying to create? I don't know <laughs> what we trying to create. And here's another thing. If I was a Christian, you know what I would be trying to create? I'd be trying to create the next Christ. That's I mean, I, I would but, they, but they would say that's stack religious. They're going to say it, but I would be trying. No, I thought the goal is to be Christ-like. If yeah, until, Christ -like, until you attempt to. Yeah, <laughs> they, would never, they would never receive a Jesus Christ. They probably, if there was one, they probably locked him up and killed his ass already. Well, they killed him. Because they, they don't want to hear him. nobody. Anybody that tells them how they should eat better or how they can live better, they chastise them anyway. So they're not even prepared for what they say they want. They want a convenient God. But yo, this phone's about to be gone. I got to charge yo, this thing up. Yo, hey, yo, we built, we built tonight. Hey, yo, hurry up and save the live. Save, save the live. Oh, yeah, yeah. Facts, facts. Peace. All right. All right. All right. Peace, y'all. My brother, for real. Peace to you guys. Love y'all.